up, my dudes? Are you guys are getting down today? The dinos are dancing today. The dinos are dancing. How you guys doing? Hi, I'm Zealand. Nice to meet you. First time streaming, so I'm just making sure I'm doing it right here. Why are you always early when I'm busy and late when I'm bored? I, I don't know what to tell you, but granted, I, uh, I've been later. I have been later. You notice you shake a little when typing in your keyboard. I mean, I, I haven't typed on, I don't think I've typed on my keyboard. The whole time I bounced my leg a lot. So like that is just like, I bounced my leg. Yeah, that's probably it. I'm just vibrating with the energy of the chakras of Tottenham management is what I'm doing. <laughs> the chakras of Tottenham management. Like bouncing's the best. Yeah, when I was a kid, that was my uh my mom I was like bouncing off the walls. My mom was like, just direct it into your legs, sweetie. And I was like, Yeah, all right. Beefy, thank you so much for the uh the prime. Bookley, thank you so much for the prime. Max, thank you for the three months. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Castanies, thank you for the 19 months. Stones, thank you for the 30 months. Bruce with the big old 47. Months. I'm back from France. I bring gifts. I have croissants and a rat that can cook called Remy. I you should have led with the rat. You got a cooking rat. Disney's gonna love you. Winston, why? Wait, did Jameis Winston go to the Browns? That's insane. That is wild. Chelsea not being able to get past 11 uh, since the last season after spending 1.7 billion. 1.7 billion is high. They spent a billion. They spent a billion dollars. I mean, I have long taken the bold stance that I think Chelsea will be fine. I think their transfer strategy was good. I think some of the players have come in a little lower at current ability level than they would have liked to borrow a football manager term. It's been a bold strategy, but I do believe long-term Chelsea will be fine. Chelsea fans spotted. I actually feel like that's the opposite of the truth. I feel like most Chelsea fans I know are very, uh, very, very not of that opinion. Very not of that opinion. The real rock, paper, scissors, the friends they made along the way. Zealandism, true. The newest Zealandism is about dudes playing rock, paper, scissors before a free kick. Would recommend. One billion is not a good transfer window strategy. Depends on how, how you do it. Now, I, I think, I mean, I made a very, very detailed video about Chelsea and their, like, history and their spending. I think... Chelsea figured out a more impressively annoying way to do transfers than anybody has in recent history. They also, in typical Chelsea fashion, managed to do it very chaotically and without what seemed like much of a plan. But I don't hate their strategy. They're playing FM. The problem is FM and its potential ability is more predictable than real life. Are they not an inch from violating FFP? Not right now. I mean, Chelsea also, you forget, Chelsea sold a lot of guys to Saudi for a lot of money. 
the issue for Chelsea is like five years from now when they still owe like 150 to 200 million on FFP sheets and they'll either have to sell players to balance that out or not. But the good thing for Chelsea is they have assets. They've got a bunch of dudes 23 and under that somebody's going to want to buy. Does potential ability have a limit? Yeah, it's uh, 200 in the game. It's on a range of 1 to 200. And obviously 200 is the top. I think Messi was like a 197 or something. So I, I shudder to think what a 200 would look like. Yeah, but Chelsea's not in any FFP danger right now. They would be in like four years. Because the way, I mean, it's the freaking contracts, dude. If you sign a guy for $80 million, but you give him an eight-year contract, it's only $10 million on your budget sheet for the next eight years, like in terms of FFP. But if you turn around and sell a dude to Saudi Arabia for $40 million, then you can technically buy eight. You can buy four different dudes for $80 million and give them eight-year contracts, and that literally balances out. Even though you just agreed to spend $320 million overall, and you only sold a guy for $40 million, if you sign four guys for $80 million, and then give them eight-year contracts, you're only paying that $10 million per year. So you just need to be able to balance out $40 million on your FFP sheet, like sheet for the next eight years, but you already have all those dudes on your team. Like, does that make, does that make sense? So, like, Chelsea's not in danger now. They're in danger in four years if they still suck. But let's, like... I don't think they're still going to suck. Napoli or Barcelona? I think Barcelona gets it. I think Barcelona and Arsenal are coming out of this, but it would be really interesting <laughs> to see it go the opposite way. It'd be really, really interesting to see Porto and Napoli come flying into the quarterfinal because I feel like people are just assuming this is the round that Porto and like teams like Porto and Napoli bow out. Napoli's having an all right year, but this is certainly not the best version of them. Osiman's got to, he's got to get something going. Ferris Gaming, thank you for the two months, dude. How can you entertain an octopus? They need 10 tickles. But they only have eight of them. That's so, why would, why would it be 10? I don't Scorp <laughs> Scorpy, thank you for the prime. Ferris, I appreciate the two months. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. I was gonna go, I was gonna go with a C plus. That felt like a really solid dad joke just right in there. Oh, I all thank you for the 64 months. Said who's gonna win the Premier League this season? I'm sure you talked about this yesterday. Uh, we've talked about it recently. I it's Manchester City until somebody proves they can take it off them. I mean, seriously, Manchester City knows what it takes to finish the job. Right. G Meme Gamer, thank you for the year. Cheers, my dude. Congratulations on the golden bacon. Manchester City is going to do what they're going to do until somebody takes it off them. They know, they know how to get the job done. They know how to win the title. And somebody's going to have to go take it. We'll see if Arsenal can rise to the occasion. We'll see if Liverpool's got one last gasp right before Mo Salah and Virgil van Dijk fade into the ether, right? Lucas, thank you for the four months of the prime, dude. How many uh, any NFL free agency thoughts? dying as a Giants fan yeah can you shut Tiki Barber up what the hell is he talking about <laughs> now I think NFL free agency is fun I wish there was something like that in international football but there's not and I understand why there's not but I, I love free agency and the possibility of getting everybody I'm happy with my Tampa Bay Buccaneers we got Baker Mayfield Mike Evans back we you know tagged Antoine Winfield like life's good for us so wonder kids thank you for the 22 months how's it going Oh, good. I'm just hanging out. We were uh, talking who's going to win the Prem, which I think is Manchester City. I don't know who you guys think is going to win the Prem. I think, man, I, I think you know, you got to knock out the champ if you're going to do that. How'd I come up with Zealandism? Oh, this is my idea. I uh, felt like there was nobody doing that type of, uh, nobody doing those types of videos in the football space. And I was like, that, I'll do it. Like, <laughs> I, I was like, this, this looks like it'd be fun. Let's just give this a try. And so uh, that, and I just started doing it. And we've been doing two a day for a while. So it's been, it's been a good time. But yeah, things are going well. Uh, I'm happy. Happy with the, the way Zealandism's going. Happy with the way the save's going. You know, obviously we were off to a good start to the season. 
uh, even though we had that weird league cup match where we were missing like 23 players yesterday. Um, we are, we are off to a good start to the season though. I was just looking at the champions league thing. We got a win in two draws, but our draws are away to Barca and away to Benfica. So that'll come around. I think we got to win our next two matches in the champions league. We got Stad Rene and Ajax. um, premier league. We got plenty of fun Villa, Brighton, West Ham, Arsenal, Leicester, but we have played most of the tough, uh, most of the rough and tumble teams up to this point. We're going to have a pretty easy run in the prem until we get to the middle of January, we're going to have man city and Liverpool. And then you freaking United in the champions league right after that. So can't wait for that stretch in January. You can absolutely ruin my, uh, ruin my day. Take me out to pasture car guy. Thank you for the prime. Yeah. I appreciate you supporting the stream mogul mail of football. Yeah. Kind of. Uh, picks. That's kind of what it, what it's about. March Madness update. We have one eagle, one lancer, two bulldogs, one duke, and one hat. I'm a big fan of the Hatters. Fifty five years of basketball for for Stetson, and they 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 had not made it. But I I am still watching. Yeah. Holy Man City, nine wins, no losses, dude. Trust me, I know. <laughs> but car guy, thanks for spending five dollars of Jeff Bezos's money. How come I have no logo for Man United? They sent cease and desist letters to the people that make logo packs. They decided to do that instead of win. It's a bizarre choice, but, you know, they can do whatever they want. Oh, down. Okay. What do I, I have? Uh, oh, we've got freaking League Cup after this. <laughs> Nottingham Forest isn't even a real team. And that's how I lose. That is exactly what I say before I lose that match. Crazy how that works. I do feel like I want to rotate a little bit. Rico Lewis is looking particularly haggard, particularly tired this evening. Do I have Vushkovich, my lovely uh, deep cover center back? Can you play center back? Yeah, in a pinch he can. Just want to get Gonzalo Anasio a bit of a, a bit of a rest. Sislau, thank you so much for the prime, dude. I appreciate it. I watched the VOD since I missed most of yesterday. The international disaster game was insanely fun. Yeah, that was absurd. That was that was utterly absurd. Forest 3-0. Will you calm down? Absolutely not. Two European Cups? True, but they were in the 80s before I was alive, which is before recorded history began. So I don't know if that counts. Although it is crazy that Nottingham Forest has two uh, Champions Leagues. That is objectively insane. The fact that Nottingham Forest has more Champions Leagues than the entirety of the French League. Did you ever think about it that way? They have more Champions Leagues than the entire French League. The entire French League. Based. New and improved Jocelyn. Thank you for the two months. I forgot I could spend wee Jeffy's money. Yes, if you have Amazon Prime, please spend your Twitch Prime. Doesn't have to be here. The dude doesn't need any more money, all right? His eight yachts. Make sure you spend that Prime somewhere. It does not renew automatically as well, which is designed to try and keep as much money in Jeff Bezos' pocket as possible. Nonsense. Niall, for thank you for the 37 months. Do I think Luton Town's pulling it off? I mean, what are they? They're three. Uh, Luton Town's three points uh, in the zone right now. I, uh, but who goes down in their place? Maybe Nottingham Forest, but I don't think it's not. I mean, Burnley and Sheffield United might as well be in the championship already. That's been true for a while. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I here's the thing. I really want. I really want Luton Town to pull it off. I I really want Luton Town to pull it off. Problem is, I don't see where they're. I don't see where they're gonna make that up. Okay, and thank you for the twenty five months. Thank you for supporting the stream. I hope you've enjoyed your two years without ads. Have I ever managed in Romania? I don't think so, actually. All right, Aston Villa. Time to catch these hands. 
Pixel Pin, and thank you for the 26 months. Most hours I have in one save. Actually, in one save, I don't know. In Football Manager, it's FM20. I had like 2,500 hours just in FM20, and I switch over to the new game every year. So that was one year. That was that was one single year. It's the first match of the stream? Oh, yeah, we're just getting into it. How, the, re how uh, the rest of Europe will deal with Real Madrid from next season? I mean, the same way they always do, right? Like, Real Madrid has almost always had the most talent. I mean, you had the Galacticos there, obviously, where everybody was looking at it, and they're like, how are they going to deal with it? A lot of things can happen, right? Just, just because you have Kylian Mbappe, right? and Indrik for the next decade with Kamavinga and Schuaman. Like, it doesn't mean you're going to win everything. Now, La Liga is pretty open because Barcelona is kind of shaky. Obviously, Barcelona's financial situation is hilariously bad. But uh, I, I think La Liga is kind of open. Unless Sharona is about to turn into the new Manchester City which doesn't seem likely, at least in the short term, because their limited spending is like $70 million over the next year. So probably not going to happen. What kind of doping are City doing this season? Uh, I mean, Manchester City, as much as they have 115 charges, which, like, I think Manchester City is going to get like a 20-point penalty, and I think it'll hit at the start of next year. I don't think Premier League wants to, like, mess with the title race they have going on this year. That's just what makes sense to me. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, uh, like, I, I don't think that they're going to do that. But Manchester City is just really good at what it does. Like, the people they have in charge of running the club are just really, really good at what they do. Uh, they, uh, it seems like almost everybody they sign, except for Calvin Phillips, <laughs> just seems to, still, like, slot right into what they're trying to do. And just help them in some way. Like, I wasn't sure about Grealish. I even wasn't sure about Kovacic. I'm like, really? Like, we, Nathan Ake was one that I was like, there's no way Nathan Ake is the guy. And they do it like every single time, man. Will uh, Girona do what Real Madrid does? No, it's a spending limit. Well, JC, I'm sorry you got to get an operation, but I'm glad you're able to hang out here and hopefully uh, remember the good times as well. We're operate, you know, operations weren't a part of the future. But the good, the best news is that if you found out you needed to get an operation, that's something you need to get done. And if you hadn't found out that you needed to get the operation, things would have been getting worse. So you've begun the process of progressing to a better future, JC. Thank you for the 27 months, so my dude. Let's score one for JC right here. There we go. I did not expect to actually call that as, 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 as well now. I always liked Manuel Akanji, so I'm not surprised he's been great, but... I'm in in-game. They haven't dropped a point. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I'm just... I'm just riffing. Yeah, how am I going to deal with them in the game? I don't know, dude. We lost them when we played them. I think they're better than we are. Uh, you know, that doesn't mean we can't beat them, but I, I think they are better than we are right now. Let me focus on possession. Take a deep breath. Focus on possession. Life will be good. King Z, your majesty. What's up, Elite Fargus? How are you doing? How are you doing today? Uh, we're, we're doing well. Just get, we're, you were getting into our first match. We're at home against Villa. Important, uh, important to get results at home for us as we've, we've been really excellent in this stadium. Not a dominant first half, but we're doing all right. Kit, thank you for the 22 months. Appreciate you spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Hell yeah, brother. Hell yeah, brother. Hey, can I have that ball, please? I'd really appreciate that ball. Thank you so much for not giving me the ball. Come on, man. What is this? I have Endrick? Maybe. I might have Endrick. He was available for 85 million. All right, sue me. Whoa. 
Well done, Ashley Phillips. Who I have winning the UCL matches today? I, I mean, I think Arsenal and Barcelona are going to come through. That's my pick. I'd be really surprised if either one of them didn't. I also think it would be really fun if either one of them didn't. Right? I think that would that would add some zest and some upset flair and some some different stuff going on. Barcelona needs it, first of all. Barcelona needs it. Barcelona needs the money. Ar Arsenal needs it so they can stop getting called frauds. But Arsenal's thing has always been good in the league, struggle in Europe vibe. So, but this generation of players that Arsenal has, you know, this is their first time going through this song and dance. So, at least in an Arsenal shirt. Oh, Indrik! Oh, bless it. Oh, you got to hit the target. Saw you run in France and also got annoyed at Social, PSG, and Nice Row P, so I had to leave them for Atletico. Dude, what just happened? I look away for a second and a dude's in on goal. There's no way I just got hit with a long throw through ball. I've legitimately not seen that ever. I just got crushed by a long throw through ball to equalize i don't even know what to do with that information like tactically what what in god's green earth are we doing here there's one guy up there coyote just stops pursuing him like i realize this has been a bit of like a pretty lukewarm effort from us today but what excuse me that's, that, that's one of the i, I realized the goal we scored was kind of gimmicky but that's such a weird goal to give up Like, is there even, is there a tact, like, what? Oh, come on, Javi. I thought that was in. I freaking thought that was in. Oh, come on. Well, dude, I, I, I saw that Lee Kong In was on the other team and processed that information, but didn't think about the fact that it's because we sold Lee Kong In to them. Okay, that's never going to work. If you don't win, I lose all my channel points. All right, John, no pressure. Cool. Got it. No pressure at all. I think Barcelona lose 2-0. That's a bold pick. I mean, based off, like, the quality and even the form of the teams, I think it's Arsenal and Barcelona are pretty clear picks, but... So it's not like Napoli's having its season where it's, like, winning the league. That was a glorious goal. I was a little worried they were about to flag that for offside. I am so happy now. Oh, can't you see my happiness that we are winning? I'm so happy. I'm overflowing with happiness. An absolute beauty. No, I uh, really, well, why do we have to wait to get scored on to like actually do something? What a stab through ball by Constantelius. Hammer of a finish from Scotta. But Constantelius with a dime. All right, sub Gamara. Forgot he's not on the bench. Uh, Dredjevic. Just shouting a dude's name down the bench, and he's like, boss, he's not here. Dude, he's not here. Stop. All right, Hendrick's going to keep playing because he doesn't have any match sharpness. Uh, Ineco Romo is going to actually know. Bellarmino Sek is going to play out the rest of this match. Regevich is there. Vandevin's there. Yeah. Okay, let's score again, guys. Let's score another goal, shall we? Let's stay aggressive here. Our projected EPL finish? I actually have no idea. We did not look at the season preview at all. But we are putting together a, uh, a good start to the season, obviously. Trying to win seven of our first nine if we can hold on to this result. All right. That is a level of exhaustion that makes me uncomfortable. So now I am going to get... Why is Vandevin nervous? What a weird, a weird lad, you know?
Okay, that what we're that we're thinking. A little one of these operations. Maybe we go Karsten Eberts for Bellarmino Seca. Absolutely wild choice. But then I could move him up here and do deep lying playmaker on support. Ebert steps in to be a more defensive minded guy. Indrik, obviously, now that he's fully tired. I mean, but I want him to work on that sharpness. I'll get Constantelius. I know he has the assist, but Aneko Romo is just a, a barrel of laughs up there. A real barrel of laughs. He can he can work as a playmaker, which is nice. All right, we're going to go full time waste here. And make sure the rest of this tactic's good. You obviously have to be an inside forward. Yeah, we're good. All right, boys, waste some time. Oh, what's Skoda doing? Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Get the subs in. Switch that formation up, boyos. Oh, good gracious. What? And Rosales. Beautiful. Give it yeah, our highlight. Now we go. Hey, what's up, Ravenblood? <laughs> hey, our live, my live stream. Lies. Cross it. Literally a three on one. At least he tried. At least he tried. What's the skin pack? Uh, I use Dove Care for Men uh, lotion. Oh, sh that's disappointing. Middle. Middle again. Yes. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my good. Well, it's because the uh, time change. So we spring forward yesterday and today. So I'm technically supposed to be getting on an hour earlier for a lot of you. In swinger or out swinger, there's only one correct answer. Analytically, there is only one correct answer. It is. Say it together. In swinger, always, always. But Alex, say, oh, the tier two, Alex. Alex, the tier two. Yeah, don't worry. Exactly, don't worry. I was still late. I was just early for you. But I was late for me. You know, my character hasn't changed that much. I was still late for me. All right, we are going to make a sub. Marcelo Enrique is going to come in. He's nervous. Oh, give me a break. Yeah, but are you still nervous after I have faith in you? Yes, apparently. But I want to get him in before the set piece because he has 19 jumping reach. He's taller than Eves Basuma. See it away, good man. If, this, if Zealand's on time, then there's only one explanation. Time changed. Sad, but very true. Literally what happened. There's no way. Rosales, way to get there and block that because your first touch was an ecological disaster. That nonsense out of here. The song was in a Bionicle ad. Dude, what? Okay, hopefully we're minute past time here. Can we just like, can, can we, can we just? I mean, seriously, thank you. Why do I know Bionicles? What? Are those things? They're like Legos? Because I've definitely owned Bionicle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, these things were super cool growing up. Oh, I was a fan. Oh, I partook. 
Because the name, the name rung like some sort of primal bell in the back of my head. I was like, Bionicles, why? I just, you know, I feel a, a tingle down the spine hearing the word Bionicles. All right, good win. Defended the home turf. Right? Wasn't the best performance we've ever delivered, but it was a win. Uh, and we've got League Cup in three days, which is good. And Echo Romo has pulled his groin. A lot of groin pulling going on. You guys got a secret you want to tell me about? Huh? A bionicle move. Wait! There was a bionicle movie. Oh, I forgot about that. There was totally a Bionicle movie, dude. I I feel like I was a fan as well. Bionicle the movie? Mask of... Yes, a dude with a golden mask. The Legend Reborn. We have just unlocked an era of my childhood that has not been unlocked in a very long time. I wonder where all of my Bionicles are. I wonder if those made their way into a box that's in storage somewhere. I have a million dollar Bionicle collection. Okay, awesome. Nottingham Forest away in the League Cup. Yeah, I know. Really, Coyote? Really? How dare you get hurt, you absolutely ridiculous individual. I know what I'm watching tonight. Dude, what do you think the Bionicle movie is streaming on? That's, that's, that is Disney, does Disney have all the Lego stuff? I feel like it'd be Legos. Mohammed Mejahid. Ah, interesting. A wide center back on the left side from Lyon. Sforza, Casper Gungstead, Tice Delinga. He actually, I feel like, was purchased by... So. St. Etienne. And then released. And then I nearly brought him back, which is why I thought that he had actually been purchased again. But I didn't. Very good, well-rounded forward, though, Tice Delinga. A lot of use cases for that, man, to borrow a phrase. Has Roku stick vibes, HBO Max. Where to stream Bionicle the movie? Oh, Prime Video, dude. They've got everything now. They have to, yeah, look, they have to keep trying to make Prime Video better because we keep spending so many Primes. Smarties didn't. Smarty just dropping a normal sub, which is great. Thank you. Appreciate the 14 months. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. But, you know, if we, if we keep using those Twitch Primes, he's going to have to keep making Prime Video better. It's a self-fulfilling uh, kind of thing. Radigui, look, you got to have some sort of discernible skill outside of the fact that you work hard, man. It really isn't enough. It isn't enough. Where we are, it's not enough. That's only in the U.S.? Oh, dang, dude. You've been absolutely robbed of a potential life-changing experience tonight watching the Bionicle movie. Just won the gold cup with Honduras. Yo, dude. The gold cup with Honduras. That is a great international managerial achievement. It's the first in the trilogy. Oh, goodness. Now, that trilogy, probably not the peak of all cinema, if I had to guess. Although, I'm sure eight-year-old me thought it was the coolest thing ever. It'd be like watching Spy Kids today. Do you remember Spy Kids? 
Like I rewatched that like a, a few years ago and I was like, man, this was really cool when I first watched it. And now it uh and now it's now it now it's That yeah, that is I, I I don't know if I watched Thomas the Magical Railroad, but that definitely sounds like the absolute banger. Oh. That was Spy Kids. I rewatched it recently and I was like, this is really interesting. <laughs> it's really interesting to rewatch a movie that you have like a perception of as a kid, and then you watch it again and you're like, this is really bizarre. Like, it was good, but really bizarre. I was sitting there like, huh. <laughs> Dude, nine work rate on a fullback. Up your, up, you had to buck up your ideas. Buck up your ideas. What did Steve Buscemi say? Do you think God stays in heaven because he's too afraid of what he created? That's, that's a line from Steve Buscemi and Spy Kids too. Dude, what the hell? That that is like a crazy deep line to drop into a kids movie. Tadak's career has been amazing. My save got sacked by United, Bournemouth, Sheffield United, Bristol City, and was unemployed for eighteen months. He's now managing Kosovo, based. That man is living the he's living the life. He's like the dude that's managing Pakistan, where he just you, you use the fact that you're a manager to travel the world. You use the fact that you're a manager to travel the world. I feel like if I was a world-class manager and I started getting fired for stuff like, you know, he did 8,000 times over, I'd be like, yeah, man, I am, uh, I'm going to go manage in this weird location now. And that's what I want to do. And you can't stop me. How is that little Salas not, um, like good to go? Eves Basuma, you're out for Marcelo Enrique. Karsten Eberts is here. I need a center back, and that would be Rosales. So we've got Phillips, Vuskovic, Doig, Rico Lewis, Javi Guerra, Marcelo Enrique. Javi can technically play, but we do have Rejevic. Got to trust the guys. Got to trust the guys. Got to get the lads out on the field. Got to trust them to get the job done. Oh, yeah, George Shikichi can play. So I should play George Shikichi and then Mikey Moore. Because George uh, cannot um, play anywhere else. <laughs> He's suspended from playing in the league at the moment, so we can't really put him out on the field too much. All right, Mastin Tuano. I really want to see if you can play. I really, really want to see if you can play. Give me Gamara. Rotating a little bit. We do really want to win this game, but we are also in a position where uh, we kind of need to rotate. So we're just going to do that. Uh, Indrik. Perhaps a Bellarmino Seca bench appearance. Let's go Spuds. Hell yeah. Is it Conda time? He is, no, no. Not while that match sharpness is in the red. We are going to bring him back slowly, and he will be here. Kelleher's, uh, no, well. Do-do-do. Okay. Oh, chasing cars. I haven't heard this song in forever. All right, here we go. Showtime. Keeper? Yeah, I, I I made the switch. I got you. You were ahead of me. Your brain was working faster than me, but I got there. So that's how Pakistan got its first ever win. Yes. Pakistan. I love how I know this. Pakistan got a new manager, and he's like this really good journeyman manager. 
uh, who does wonders at places like Pakistan and like gets them their first, you know, gets them like farther in qualifying or qualifies them for their like tournament. Like he, he's he's a really really good lower national team manager, and that's how Pakistan got its first qualifying win recently, ever. Did Jordy the Hammer get a ban? Yeah, I get a red card. Took somebody out from behind. Like the man that he is. A proper Brexit tackle from George Shikichi. And as a result, he gets to play in all of the cups and stuff and miss the league matches, but whatever. That's okay. He's he's the star power for our road trip to Nottingham Forest today. He hammered him. Yes. Lazio's manager resigned. Yeah, I know. Uh, Maurizio, sorry. The cigarettes uh, must be smoked somewhere else for old Maurizio now. The rumors had been swirling that they were unhappy. and I mean, Lazio is down in ninth now, uh, last time I looked. So as well as they played against Bayern, they have not shown what they want from their league performances. Oh, here's Shikichi. Here is your Chikichi. <sighs> yeah, Maurizio Sarri seems to be one of those guys that hasn't succeeded in a managerial job in, like, a while. Like, even even though Mourinho got fired, he did win a trophy, you know? Like, it, it, and you don't have to win a trophy to be successful, but I just feel like Maurizio Sarri has gone through a couple of jobs consecutively where he just hasn't done too well. I thought Lazio played well against Bayern, but... I get maybe that maybe that was his moment. Come on, Santi. That was a shot, which is alarming. Are you looking up the manager that's managing Pakistan? Yes, he's managed Rwanda, India, uh, East Bengal team, Sudan, Malawi, Nepal. He's like knighted by Nepal. I was I was reading about him before. Perkalele, thank you for the thirteen months. I appreciate you. Thank you for supporting the stream. Thank you for doing it with the cash from Jeff Bezos. Rico. Captain Rico Lewis. Regevich. Doig. Nice save. Europa League with Chelsea. Was that the last thing that sorry, uh, like won? Pakistan hired a manager that used to manage India and Nepal. Correct, but he's also a good manager who speaks English, who gives a hoot, you know. Doig. Who is it? It's more. Yo. Come on, guys. There's no extra time or anything. We need to get that goal up on the board. We only have an hour left. Come on. Doig. Nice touch. Chikichi. Oh, that's sick. Oh, he is a baller. Oh, he is a freaking beast. Jared Chikichi made that look so easy. The hammer. How far into the season are we? Uh, three Champions League matches played. This is our second League Cup match. We have played nine Premier League matches as well. So we're getting into the heart of it. We're at the end of October. You know, finding out the flow of our team, finding out who's going to play when. Can we get an NC Hammer thing as a, a theme song? Uh, yes. We, we should play... MC Hammer when the, when George the Hammer scores. Imagine you win everything in Europe when you move to a different continent to win it all there. Honestly, like if you're asking me if we win the Premier League in the freaking Champions League this year, which is possible. I don't I don't think it's likely. That's not my expectation, but it's in the realm of possibility. I mean, it, how have we not accomplished the goal of the save, which is to go from no playing experience and no coaching badges to the top of the game? And we would have done it in eight years. That would be insane, by the way, if we managed to pull that off. 
But I think, assuming that doesn't happen, our goal would be to get one of the biggest jobs in the world, whether it be Real Madrid, Barcelona, whether it be... Uh, I mean, we did already have Liverpool was open, but they weren't even in Europe was the issue. Whether it be like PSG, AC Milan, maybe Inter, Bayern, but they just hired a new coach. One of those monster jobs. You need the Bayern job? I They didn't take me last time. I'm going to go with a don't get complacent, see how the team reacts. We are up 1-0. We've been the better team. They're making a couple of subs. Let's make sure we counter that with a little uh, little tinker man adjustments, you know, a little tinker in here, a little tinker in there, a little tinker in everywhere. Go from Spurs to Arsenal. Now, right now, the Arsenal job is bigger. Uh, I think City is, is bigger. Uh, Newcastle, for some reason, is able to spend a lot more money. Nice, Nizako. I won't tell your boss. Thank you for the nearly three years, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. From what I've seen in Germany, FM prefers German coaches. Yeah, I think it was adaptability too. Uh, but we are, I believe, in our eighth full season of management. So the fact that we are in charge of Tottenham in the Champions League, huge accomplishment, what we've been able to do so far. Oh, Mastin Tuano. Franco Mastin Tuano. That was bold. When's, when is uh, King Kazu coming back? He is fit for 45 minutes right now, but we are working him back to match sharpness slowly through reserve matches uh, because we do not want to cause further injury and distress to our boy. So I'm giving Mastin Tuano a run. So he's been hurt a lot, too, and hasn't really gotten a proper start with the first team since I got here. So he got the start today. That's a problem. That was... I thought that was on. That was the first time they've looked anywhere near threatening, but I did think that was on. Do I think Porto can beat Arsenal? I think it is more likely that Napoli beats Barcelona, personally. Arsenal, to me, has shown a resilience that they perhaps lacked last year. I believe that will carry on to the European stage, but of course the European stage, can it can be different. It can feel different. It can do different things to people. Uh, and so that might not be the case. They might uh, they might fold a little bit under that kind of uh, pressure, but I, I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Ginny's Rejevic... I suppose I could bring Karsten Eberts in. Yeah, we'll bring in Eberts. Fine. Frickin' Hector Gamara's got to come in because Santi's on a 6.2. Anything's better than that. Tuano. Let's go, Franco. First start for Franco Mastin Tuano. Not to mention, that's three jumping reach right here. Elevating, reaching the top shelf at the supermarket to pick up the assist with the header with three jumping reach. That's how you compete. That's a competitor. More. George Shigichi. It's more. <sighs> Does anyone here have a link to the Hall of Saints? They're actually exclamation points that can summon the Hall of Saints. It is also a Google Doc that I maintain meticulously. You really want to make it, man. That's six years of football manager history right there. Contained in a single document. All the players that you can pray to for good luck on Football Manager. It's three more jumping reach than I have. So true.
Why has nobody been added to the Hall of Saints since Orlando? Uh, well, I mean, we won nine trophies in two years with Orlando. It's kind of hard to top that. We played one season with Knock Breda, where we did win the league, uh, right? And we had some guys that we loved, like Jumpman, but nothing really elevated. Uh, and then we spent three years with Saint at the end, but we actually didn't win anything. Uh, we did get promoted, and obviously we managed to make it into the Champions League, and we did uh, we did a good job with that. And we we had some players that we really liked, like Maxime Rodier, but uh, there you know that that was that. And then we moved to Tottenham, and we played the half season. We were really just kind of surviving to the end of the end of last year. All right, nice, good win. On the road, in the rain at Nottingham Forest, on to the next round of the League Cup, keeping the dream alive. Have not won a domestic trophy in 21 seasons. So any domestic trophy that we can kind of make a run at looks like a, <laughs> it's like a great choice for me. We're into the last eight. It looks like uh, AC Milan's having issue legal issues in real life. Tottenham's setup recognized. Oh, seventh best setup in the world. Okay. We don't even have the highest level of junior coaching because Daniel Levy. So, I mean, maybe I maybe we've managed to satisfy the requirement regardless because I do have the goal to develop the best youth system in the country and in the world. So it's kind of go in hand, right? If you have the best youth system in England outside of maybe, you know, like Barcelona. They'll be like, ah, oh, yes, we have the best academy. I see you. But Tottenham at number seven. All right. Steady progress. We're changing the perception of Tottenham. One little weird report at a time. You got the love. No Reina or Polisic sainthood for Brazilian heroics. That was discussed. That was discussed. I, I I think the only reason that didn't happen on the spot is because we had, you know, we, we like we we still had a tournament to play from that point. And then obviously we, we got to the quarterfinal. We won the match after that against uh, Ireland. So the quarterfinal run at the World Cup, but we didn't we didn't go farther than the US has ever gone. The United States has made the World Cup quarterfinal before. And beating Brazil with the United States at the World Cup is one of my favorite football manager memories for sure. But I just don't know if it got that level. First American streamer I've seen play FM. Joke's on you. I'm from Kiribati. Do, 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 do. Oh, come on. This kid's good. Stoyan Alexa, very good. How dare you insinuate Esteban is American? Hola, como estas? Esta bien? They speak Spanish in uh, Kiribati, you know? It's pronounced Kiribati? Yeah, I'm going to be honest, that pisses me off. That's always pissed me off. Like, I forget it, but you know why I forget it? Because there's a f T in the name. It's like naming your kid Ashley and being like, actually, it's pronounced Ashlet. And you're like, at a certain point, you're just trying to be difficult, right? At a certain point, you can change the name. Nobody's stopping you. Nobody's stopping you. You can change the name to the way that it sounds. You can.
There's a difference. Here's the thing. There's a difference because you brought up Arkansas. There's a difference between a silent letter and just making up letters, right? There's a difference between silent letters and being like, oh, yeah, actually, that letter's silent. You're like, okay, thanks for letting me know. And being like, oh, yeah, there's no T, but there is an S. Like, I'm not saying that Arkansas and Kansas makes the most sense. I am saying that it still makes a hell of a lot more sense than just making up letters. All right? It makes a hell of a lot more sense. We play Bradford City away in the League Cup quarterfinal. Absolutely outstanding draw. We love that. That's the first non-Premier League team we are playing in the League Cup. That's crazy. I have played exclusively Premier League teams up to this point. All right, squad dynamics are good. Look, Levy, you freak. Levy, give me junior coaching or I am flipping this table. That will be difficult because it is L-shaped and there is no room past this camera. But I will flip it through that wall. Junior coaching, Levy. Junior coaching. Oh, my goodness. This guy is just the perfect advance forward, isn't he? Mr. I have, you know, every attributed at least 16 in every advanced forward spot. You could possibly say that. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Incomprehensively chaotic, but to be fair, there's no better solution to the way they pick the teams for March Madness. Somebody has to try and assign value and weight everything. Cabela Mokowena, still a good-looking player. Dang. Um, yeah. Well, I, look. Kitty Boss is making up letters, right? It's making up letters. It could just change its name so that you don't have to be in the cool kids club to remember how to pronounce the dang country every five seconds. Their greatest export's a funny Twitter account, right? I'm sure the people there are lovely. All right, but, you know. I know where Kiribati is on a map. I shouldn't get in trouble for not knowing how to say it. <laughs> Brazilian Fury, though, thank you for the 18 months. Oh, Prince FM, thank you for the 26 months. Uh, what did I just get? I uh, received $3 million just randomly. Anybody want to give me $3 million randomly? Sounds great. A lot. Tap me in, dude. Sign me up. Where do I Where do I sign? I'm in. I'll take your money. Yeah. Is that just like an opt-in thing? Can I just opt? Oh, that's terrible. What the hell? Who sprinkles that much vanilla on granola? It's perfectly good. Oh, my God. I feel like I just ate the inside of a vanilla. What the hell? Oh. All right, we'll keep that guy. Apparently, the local language, the T-I, is pronounced as an S. The local language. Gilberties.
It is not a real language if it has the same name as the annoying kid from my elementary school class, okay? Oh, it's spoken on Tarawa, too. That's actually cool. How would you say hello in Kiribati? Oh, I actually do. I, I, okay, I do, want, I do want to hear this. This guy is also dripped out of his mind. Maori means hello. Sapo means goodbye. And those are a few Kiribati words and phrases to share. Hello. Sapo means katongaye magikukuri. Maori means hello. I'm going to be honest. The pacing of the language is very pleasing to the ears here. When he drops this bar. This year is our Kiribati language week. And are you a week in the Tata in Kiribati? Like that, that's pretty sick. I, I I turned it up. I turned it up. Sorry. I realized that it turned down. But, um. Maori means hello. Sapo means goodbye. And those are a few Kiribati words and phrases. All right. Well, Sapo, my dude. Gilbertese. That is a language that I did not know existed until today. Gilbertese. <laughs> it has a very like staccato like pacing. It's very da 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 Finally, the Zambian is no longer good enough to play for us. My true measure of success. Was that? No, it wasn't pace. Okay. Then we're fine. Oh, league match. The way against Brighton. Okay. And then we... Oh, yeah. We have another freaking international break. At least I don't have a match during the international break this time. So that's, you know, progress. Very cool. All right, Vuskovic, you're out for Rosales. Uh, Vandevin, you're back in. Ashley Phillips is just playing all of these matches. Actually, Luka Vuskovic is going to play with Rosales on this one. We should be able to survive that uh, fine enough. Um, give me Hector Gamera. He is not particularly match sharp, but this will this will help. He'll be very match sharp after this. Mass and Tuano, no. I'm going to go with Constantelius. I am going to go with Indrik, uh to play this game. We're like kind of rotating because we've got a very important Champions League match coming up. We have we've played with our food a bit too long, and we, we definitely need to start winning. <laughs> we definitely need to start winning. Santi Jimenez, you get a bounce. You, you get a shot at a bounce back here. Uh let me uh, 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 Okay, oh George George is oh George is ready. Nice. Uh, I'll go with the Neko Romo today, but I like the George is back. Switch the goalkeeper, thank you for streamer doesn't know ing me. Sizes Gilbert's I oh, dude, stop. I can't. I just got comfortable with what they were doing to me last time. I can't do it, man. I can't. All right, England McAvoy out for Josh Doig. Recovering uh, fitness and sharpness, my good lads. Fitness and sharpness. So Jimenez, Zaneco, Romo, Constantelius, Hendrick, Marcelo, Enrique, Hector Gamera. Vandevin, Vuskovic, Rosales, Coyote. Where's um, Regevich? He's a little tired. We do have Javi Guerra off the bench. Apparently, Real Madrid want the Spaniard. That makes complete sense. I'm not a soldier. Okay, big Champions League match coming up in two days, so good amount of rotation, definitely necessary. Ignace Vanderbrimt. Freaking sick. They've got Ganduzi and Hannibal Medjbury. Dude, that's like football manager's greatest hits coming out of the midfield. Whatever, man.
We're getting to replace the goalkeeper after League Cup matches. Yes, dude, it is. I wish there was a thing that would pop up at FM like, you have your backup goalkeeper in there. Are you sure? I know it'd be a really hard thing to like program to get the game to recognize, but it would be incredibly helpful. Yeah. True, they got very guaranteed yellow cards of those guys rocking the midfield. What should I do if my board takes away my $30 million transfer budget but my club is still in debt? The balance didn't change at all. Where'd the money go? So the transfer budget is not separate from the balance. This is a great thing about football manager. But like if the board takes away your transfer budget, it's not like it's taking 30 million back from you and putting it in the balance. The balance is the balance. The reason they took the transfer budget back is because you're in debt. <laughs> like they took the transfer budget back because your club is in debt. Pickle, thank you for the five months. Yeah, the transfer budget is just how much they're allowing you to spend in the transfer window. That sucks. Oh, that's like your worst nightmare in a match like this. Because they, they don't have to chase a goal anymore. They get an early free kick. They're at home. Going to have some inspired defending going on. But, uh, we've, we've got a lot of time to find the two goals we require. An echo. Constantelius doing his thing. An echo. Okay. Yeah, so hot shot, you didn't you didn't lose any money. There was no glitch in the game. The balance is the balance. Your transfer budgets with the boards allowing you to spend on transfers, should you wish. But they took your transfer budget away because your club is in debt. And uh they judged as the board that it was not financially safe for you to spend that money anymore. Which is why financially taking care of your club is almost always in your best interest. And he missed. So I'm glad he was offside or else I'd be losing my mind. Because it's amazing he didn't score that. Okay. I'm going to flip this up to attacking pretty early on. I think we need, we need to make sure we get all of our numbers up. Why are they in their away kit at home? I don't know. I don't make the rules, man. I just show up and play. All right. If they want to look like a ball on football manager in the snow, that's their prerogative. They can wear whatever the hell they want to wear. Marce Marcelo, KO day. Oh, let's go, KO day. Yes. Give me the what in God's green earth. You are joking me, Santee. Oh, that was uh, that was on on tap. Oh, Indrick, perhaps another corner. Oh, it's a throw off the pole, off the pole. Have some shame. What is Indrick on a six point four? Goodness gracious. Close. There you go. Oh my! Why you? What are you dummying it for? Average Liverpool experience. No, that was that was a bad miss. That was a bad. Santi is not exactly in uh, scintillating form right now. We have nerves, or yeah. Oh wow. Oh my God. We have a ton of nerves. What the hell? Why are we freaking out? What what is going on? Well, why 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 are we all nervous? I I don't think I I didn't think I put too much pressure on the team before the match. But everybody's freaking out. Okay, KO day. There, that's good. That's good. That's in the right spot. What the hell, Indrick? Like, what? There's that's there's nothing. Why? Why? That just makes no sense. Now, go. Oh my God. Has he forgotten how to play? Did he have a stroke in the locker room before the game? That's Enrique all day. Okay, guys, we need the ball. Oh, my. Goal! I 
I don't know why, but when he was standing here not moving for a second, I was like, he's going to find a way to bottle this. I don't know how, but I could feel him trying to figure out how to bottle it the way he was playing in that first half. He was really processing. He was like, oh, do I have to score? Like, that would just be so against the brand. My fullbacks have been so good in this game, though. Vuskovic, I, I really want you to be a little bolder than that. Const oh, there you go, Santi. An Echo Romo. An Echo Romo! Oh, what a goal! By Ineko Romo! Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. How important are partnerships between players? Uh, team cohesion is very important. Partnerships are not something that produces results. They are a product of results. So if you get good results while players are playing together, they'll form bonds, but they're not like it, it is a it is something that's produced by you getting good results. It's not something like, oh, I've created a partnership. Now we're going to be better. It's just something in the game that lets you know these guys have been playing well together. Oh, yes. First goal of the year there for an Echo Romo. I'm happy with how we've dominated possession. I want everybody to take a deep freaking breath. Okay. And go out there and play a little bit more, uh, a little bit more confident. Get those nerves out of your system. Okay. We don't want any of those nerves. Anti Spursian, greatest compliment you could give me. We're trying to write a new history for Spurs. That's what we're trying to do. We've already won a trophy. We won the Europa League. We're in the Champions League, unbeaten in our first three Champions League matches, including away at Barcelona. And we are uh, trying to get on a little tear in the league. Uh, Manchester City, this is not fair, okay? I've got 25 from 10 games if I win this match. They've won every match they've played this year. Endrick, Endrick. Oh, Endrick! It's a fabulous goal by Endrick. A man like Endrick weaving through Brighton and over Albion. A man with purpose. Yeah, that boy is, uh, he's a star boy. He's got it going on. Need to make some subs here after this highlight. Uh, I hope it's for me so that we're comfortable making those subs. A few guys I want to get off so they're ready to go for Champions League. Nice, Gamara. Come on, Constantelius. Got bullied there. Billy Gilmore. Oh, there's Hannibal. Nice KO day. Oh, no. Matoma couldn't shoot it, though. That's good. We appreciate his lack of shooting ability. Um, Dang it. I've got to get Endrick, don't I? What was I thinking with this bench? This bench makes no sense. All right. Um, just freaking hallucinating or something. Uh, Javi Guerra is going to come in. Gamera is going to go down there. Guerra is going to drop that spot. Okay. Who else are we looking to rest for the upcoming Champions League match? Mickey Vandeven. Yeah. Rosales will be able to play both. He'll be fine. Yeah, Hendrick flipped the switch. Well, he had a 6.3 without a missed clear chance, which is just so hard to do. He was playing horribly, and now he has two goals, one of which was top quality. Goodness gracious. Wait, we're, we're, oh, oh, my goodness. Guys, what the hell? Well, I'll lower the tempo a little bit, but what are you doing? Uh, Skoda's not in. Jimenez is in. We want Skoda to start the uh, Champions League match. Nice save, Vicario. Big save. Derrick Henry went to the Ravens? What? What in the NFL is going on here? Derrick Henry to the Ravens. That's kind of crazy. 
Was he off? Yeah, he was. Good save, though. Good old googly Elmo. Getting it done again. Marcelo Enrique. Oh, love the pace on that pass. Oh. Setting up an echo for success. He still failed, but you were setting him up for success, and that's what matters. Okay, he is tired, but Ineko's played really well. He's advanced the ball better than I thought he could because he's not a great athlete. Oh, Doig, shoot that! Goal! Walking it in, 4-1 at Brighton. Anybody else I want to pick up? Uh, we'll get... Nah, nah, nah. Nah. Everybody else outside of Rosales is a backup, so... Maybe I'll drop Marcelo Enrique and bring in Eves Basuma. Just want to see a little Marcelo Enrique center back in action. Helps us rest Rosales. That's unfair. I mean, I don't know. Derrick Henry is getting old, but that is... The Ravens are clearly all in, and picking up Derrick Henry is a, uh, a bold all-in type move. He probably got a bag, too. He got a little thunder and lightning, sort of. Lamar Jackson's the lightning, Derrick Henry's the thunder. I always used to love those, like, backfield combinations. Oh, play it. Hector Gamera, Ineco Romo, nearly perfect, but he was offside. Problem with Tottenham's, they try to walk it in. I mean, we, hey, we're playing some excellent stuff in the Prem. I know we lost to Manchester City early in the season, but that, uh, you know, reports have come back on that. Looks like that's not a, uh, not a bad loss to take, the way they're playing. Dang it, Romo. He's tired. It's fine. Also, I'm winning by three goals. I can take a chill pill a little bit. No, I can't. What is this? <laughs> Don't like this. Coyote's real tired. Nice, Javi Guerra. Bad step. Bad step. He's off. No? I am so over it, you guys. City, wait, they're playing Arsenal right now and they're crushing them. And the latest scores will be over here once this highlight's done, but. Yeah, goodness gracious. At Arsenal, they're up 4 1. Yeah, that's gonna be a, that's gonna be a tough race to win against a team that's doing that this year. That's gonna be a real tough race to win. I was like, you got to be joking. I am not sweating the last couple minutes of this match at Brighton. We got control of it. We spotted them a late goal. It's fine. Skin Reaper, thank you for the 20 months. Thank you so much for supporting the stream, dude. And, and enjoy the ad-free experience that you have enjoyed for 19 months, but continue to enjoy. Be sure to get in the subsection of the Discord if you're not. All right, uh, nice work, good win. Don't know why Hector Gamero was so freaking nervous the whole time. He was great last year and literally plays for Argentina as a fringe player, so. Should be fine with that, but I guess he's not. All right, Man City, time to chill. Who was our draw? It was Liverpool at home, and we lost to City away. We have won every other match we've played in the league this year, and yet, we stare up the table at seemingly uncatchable Manchester City at the moment. Maybe injuries, maybe the long bouts of fixture congestion will finally do them in. I hold out faith that maybe it's possible. We are, alas, in good form. I'm an FSU fan. I love me some Warwick Dunn. Dude, I don't know why you brought that up, but I loved Warwick Dunn. Great running back back in the day. What's the XG table for Man City? I don't know, but if they're winning 4-1 at Arsenal... 
they might simply be unplayable. Obviously, we have one match left against them somewhere late in the season. But I am alarmed at how... I mean, 10 matches in the Prem and you lose none of them is an absolutely amazing start. Like, it is so hard to consistently win in the Prem, especially as you progress in FM. Like, the teams in the Prem get better as you progress because there's just more money flooding into the Premier League. Oh, what you got? He's like the best midfielder in the world, dude. And he plays like it for us. I'm just saying. He's. He is different gravy. He is a special player. He's got the world class uh, rating. He is. Whew. Yeah, for all the bad signings that Zinedine Zidane made, Bellarmino Seca was a great one. That was payback for all of the bad signings he made, but that was a great signing. Build the team around that guy? Dude, we are uh, working on it. Yeah, his consistency is orange, not red. It's not terrible. Okay, and consistency, even if it's red, is not something that bothers me too much anyways. Like, no player, it you know, delivers an 8.0 every match. Like, all right, this is the reserve match we needed. King Kazu is going to play a full 90 against Hoffenheim tomorrow. After that, he might make the bench against West Ham. We will see. We just need him to prove to me that he can get through a match without blowing out, like, two ligaments. So a very rough start to his career. The last thing we want to do is add to it. Uh, did I manage to say? Oh, I believe the TTS just nailed it, right? Giannis. Obviously, the, the uh, correct pronunciation. Gian Giannis. All right, brother. Uh, I was just over. I was over at Giannis place the other day. Hanging out with G and E's, and he gave me some uh, some of this hummus to take home. And I, yeah, I'm not much for ethnic food now, but it was uh, it was fantastic, brother. I I never had it. I don't know some smashed up something. I put it on my Lay's potato chips. I ate some of that, and it was absolutely amazing. I I couldn't believe it. I've been missing out. At, and G and E's was all he said to me was, "Hey man, you ever want any more of that? You stop by the Greek Food Emporium." I said, "All right, G and E's, I'll do just that." So that's the correct pronunciation, like the local correct pronunciation. If anybody was curious. Uh, do do do. You're all the same. <laughs> all right, who's the other uh, center back? Gonzalo Inacio returns to the team after skipping three matches because he was so tired. It just takes some time. All right, the first team, definitely not KO Day. So it's Vicario, Rico Lewis, Franco Gonzalez, Gonzalo Inacio, Mickey Vandeven, Javi Guerra, Eves Basuma, Endrick, Constantelius is off for Bellarmino Seca, who is fully fit and ready to play this game. Then Chagichi and Scotta, Simone Scotta. Got to get Endrick up to his match sharpness, though. Him not being at that point does suck. Thanks for the great Ukraine video. Of course, dude. It was an important topic that needed to be covered, and our uh, researcher did a really, really... He speaks the languages around there and was able to get us stuff that we would not have otherwise been able to do. Probably wouldn't have been felt comfortable making that video unless we were working with people, like, in the area. So I'm glad, I'm glad you enjoyed it. United City, thank you for raiding also. Wow. Hope you had a good stream. I appreciate you dropping in. We are about to drop in to some Champions League. <gasps> oh, my God. The Champions League. It's, it's beautiful. Well, you have Julian Ryerson. Whoa. And Hisham Badawi. It's almost like they're Stad Renee. Jabiru, thank you for gifting a sub, dude. 
Thank you for throwing United City a sub. Yeah, we're, we're, this is our eighth season. We started with no coaching badges or playing experience. We are now at Tottenham. Uh, first full season, we got hired in December of last year. It was eight. We, we, we were started in 11th. We ended up dragging ourselves into fourth place right at the end of the season. And we ended a 20-year, 22-year uh, trophy drought at Tottenham by winning the Europa League in our first uh, half year in charge. So, very promising start. We now step into the Champions League fray. We have two draws in our first three matches. But I didn't hear no bell. If we beat Stad Renee, we're right back on track, boys. Let's go. Oh, God, it's glorious. Oh, it just freaking gets me so ready to play. Tottenham at home against Stad Rene. We've won our only home Champions League match. It was against the Real Sociedad. And now we're in the rain. Can they handle the London rain? I don't think so. I don't think so. I know you can find a way to drop points here. Hey, man, we're having an excellent season in the Prem. We are in second at the moment, only behind a Manchester City that has won each of its first 10 matches, which is quite annoying. Still going in the League Cup in the quarterfinal with an away match against freaking Bradford City in the League Cup quarters. So this has been a flying start to the season. We had a pretty darn good transfer window, if you guys weren't able to join us for that. Pretty darn good transfer window. Not perfect. We still have two guys in our team that we'd prefer not to have on our team, and we missed out on a signing of a Cape Verdean wonder kid that we do love very much for a release clause that has since expired. So all of that was tragic, but we've gotten rid of a lot of the big, bloated, bad contracts that were handed out in previous eras. I don't like that the highlight started there, though. Can we change that part of it? I like that there's a finally a highlight, but, like, Can I, like, can I choose a highlight for me? Yes, thank you. I appreciate that. Okay, I feel like we overcomplicated that. That was absurd. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you, why? You're under no danger at all. She's... Just like, I was like, oh, you missed the through ball. Let me help you out. Let me just nod that one along for you real quick. Oh, that's got to be ours. That is a lame duck. Thank you. Vandevin, going back to Vicario because we're classy like that. Gonzalo Inacio. God, he's he's a Rolls Royce. Hendrick. Javi Guerra. Oh, cheeky. Javi Guerra, Hendrick, no! He is cooking this year. Absolutely cooking. Hendrick blowing kisses to the crowd. Oh, yes. Brilliant go by Hendrick. Can I have that ball, please? Thank you. Why so good, though? He's got 13 goals already this year, man. He is... He's going to lead us in scoring from that inside forward spot, it feels like, this year. And here he goes. Doing it all. You know, he's a guy that can mix it up. Bit of a playmaker. I'm a bit of a playmaker myself.
Rosales. Oh, what a twirl. Surely not. He's feeling predatory today. He's out there trying to make an impact. I'm happy that we've dominated possession. I do want to focus us on possession. Uh, I want to go positive as well. Be a little safer with our defensive positioning, right? Because we we have the lead now. We still have a very aggressive setup, like, tactically. We just want to make sure we don't get caught, you know? Don't want to get caught with our hand in the cookie jar. Come on, George. Dirtle Prez, thank you for the three months. What did the fir tree say to the Christmas tree when they walked into the bar? Why, you've got a lot of balls walking in here dressed up like that. I thought the first part was the joke. And then it was like a double joke. That was actually was actually quite good. I'm going to go with an A-. It was a good dad joke right there, Dirtle. It was. Very good dad joke. Thank you for supporting the stream. Chat, feel free to provide your own rating, A to F, of all of the dad jokes that are provided. Oh, get that. Dude, that Elvis wreck behind quotes hilarious. Sometimes I can be funny. That's refreshing. There's so many of those quotes I forgot about. It happened a long time ago. Javi Guerra. Bellarmino Seca. Indrik. Eves Basuma. Oh, that's a classy ball to Jurd Shikichi. Eves. Eves. Ah. All right, check the subs. Who's tired? Javi Guerra, how are you tired? Dude, you're tired all the time, man. Like, you're just always tired. Even when you have full match sharpness and you rested the previous match, it's like, nah, I'm tired. Thanks for asking, boss. Could use a break. Could get Eves Basuma for, like, a Marcelo Enrique. Glad that got added to the quotes. Excellent. Oh, let's go, Seca. Let's go, Skoda. Jurd Shikichi. Waiting patiently until his shot could get blocked. I appreciate it. Jebaru. Dude, thank you for the gifted sub earlier. Thank you for the 16 months. I appreciate you supporting the stream. Seca. Wow. I felt things when I heard that. I felt things. <laughs> Bellarmino Seca makes it 2 0. I'm making some changes. Now I'm going A minus. That is a good dad joke, though, Jebaru. Thank you so much for the 16. I'm going A minus. Yeah, so he scores and I take him off. That works. It's a Z out of 10, dude. That gets you. Know, what's my rating? A Z for Zealand. I'm flattered. Yeah, there's only 313 quotes, a fact that I learned about two minutes ago when somebody just added quote 313. Well, that quote 50 was definitely from the Bate save. <laughs> That was definitely for the Bate save. Hendrick. Middle. Uh, overlap. 
Yeah, they play him again. Shigichi. Gamera. God, the kid can't catch a break. Ah, terrible reset. Wow, that was a terrible miss by that dude. Holy smokes. Chigichi. Doing! Dang it. <laughs> Vicario is vacating the premises, but it did not matter because the dude bricked the shot. They're like one good chance. Ashley Phillips leaping skyward to handle the ball as one must. North, thank you for the prime. Thank you so much for supporting the stream, dude. And thank you for doing it with $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. May he not be able to build his eighth yacht because of your decision here today. Um, guys. He was offside, but it was close enough to make me worried. Hendrick? Can somebody fill me in on what the hell I just saw? I was looking at this and I'm like, yeah, what's he doing? Is he like kind of trying to distract the wall or, you know, he's just dancing in front of the, you know, making him. Dude, what the hell? A little, just a little tomfoolery, a little rivalry between the wingers. Like, ah, I don't know, Endrick already scored today. I don't want him to get another one. I'm going to just block it. We blocked our own free kick. That just happened. That was the highlight. Was. Wow. The entire highlight was us blocking our own free kick. Sometimes this game is too good. <laughs> what did the 2D show, dude? I don't know what the 2D show. How, how could the 3D engine have been so... Clearly the ball hit Chikichi. The ball obviously hit Chikichi. Look, we won in the Champions League. That's nice work. We needed to win the home match against Stad Rene. We won the home match against Stad Rene. We'll see where we land once everybody plays on uh, Wednesday. We needed to win that, and we did. But what the hell? The ham, the hammer. All five, seven of him, just all up in the way of Endrick's free kick. And Endrick is a brilliant free kick taker. How do I have seven points? No, I have eight points. I have two wins, two draws. I just can't math. All right, and then we have West Ham, and then there is a, a cheeky international break here at the end of November. Cheeky little international break, yeah? Or just a cheeky little one. You take the Spurs up the ladder, but you can't take the Spursiness out of Spurs. Like, as long as we're winning 2-0 in the 90th minute, I suppose that's the time to block the free kick. But if I was given the choice, I would never block our own free kick. Like, if I was given that option. But apparently, as the leader of Spurs, that is not one of the options that is presented to me on the infinite possibility spectrum here. So if we are going to block our own free kick, I think we did it at a wonderful time. You know, 2-0, near the 90th minute. Let's just get it out of our system. 
Let's block our own free kick right now. Then everybody will feel good. You know, a lot of back slapping going on. Like, hey, man, well done. Well, well blocked. Great execution. And then we can move on with our lives. You know, we've created that Spursian camaraderie that comes with rampant stupidity, I guess. Belchior, Canelio. I mean, 20 flair. Okay. We need to have a conversation. I don't need this guy, but I do want him. And those are very closely tied together because he's very good. But I don't need him. That is purely because I want him. So have we, have we done? I feel like we've actually cooked a lot of our scouting reports. I'm down to 156 players. You know how insanely impressive that is? Partizan just drew Dortmund. Real Madrid just lost to Atalanta. Uh, Barca drew Real Sociedad. Dude, City nearly lost to Sevilla. How has nobody beat them yet? They drew Sevilla on a 94th minute goal from Nico. Is he better than Regovic? Uh, yeah, probably. We can do a little compare, but we did just spend fifty million on Regovic. So Regovic is smarter because he's smarter than basically everybody. This guy's more creative and technical. Physically, very similar players. But you know, Belki or Canelio's got that twenty flair. Regovic is only at eighteen. What a loser. And his technical ability, particularly around his touch and ball control, is better. Which obviously is great. He's a better goal getter. They are very similar. And that same age profile, same position profile. <laughs> I pose too many bird puns. Well, two can play that game. All right. Jude Chikichi and Karsten Ebert's beautiful. All of this is beautiful. Janitz Constantelius. Yeah, no surprises there. How many appearances is he at? Four more, chat. Four more until I get $92 million guaranteed for Hawk and Arner Haraldson from Atalanta. He's played 11 league matches. Come on. I am somehow going to turn a profit on a guy that I inherited after they spent $71 million on him. And if he played five more league matches, we would have had to pay $21 million more. We didn't play him in those five more league matches. We survived to the end of the season with him as a rotational player. And we got an unbelievable offer from Atalanta to defer the payment to the end of the loan. Or two, you know, he makes 15 appearances. He's about to make 15 appearances. He's four appearances away, and I am so excited. <laughs> oh, yes. We've gotten, uh, we've gotten some different rounds of good news today. Best news I've gotten today. Hawk and Arner Haraldson, four appearances away. Also, Nexus, thank you for the 31 months. Thank you for supporting the stream. Enjoy the bacon, the emotes, the subsection of the Discord. It's a B for me. But chat chat seemed to like it even more than I did. So you're you're a you're a hero of the people. Uh Cesare Cassidy. And then uh it didn't look like he ended up being that good. Charlie Ward freaking athlete with a capital Ath and a capital Leet. Alan Senior, oh my good man. Yeah, okay, Mamadou Zane, I, I, you're playing at the Portland Timbers. I'm very happy we got that money for you at the time that we did. Uh, Paulo Costa, you are another attacking midfielder. See, I have other attacking midfielders I'm more interested in, but don't make that, you know, don't, don't let that make you think you're bad. You are still wonderful. I value you. Vittorio Sanini. 
Uh, release clause of $143 million. Yep, no. But he was on loan with us last year. What a player. All we had to do was pay $222 million to make the loan permanent. Can't believe we didn't do that. That's crazy. Why did I not keep being the U.S. manager? Because the U.S. golden generation was over and we'd already won the Gold Cup and the League Cup. Uh, or Nations League. So... We had accomplished the goals we had set out to accomplish. All right, Kondo's going to play in this U18's Premier League match. And then by the end of this international break, he'll be ready to go. A thigh strain for Luka Vyshkovic. That dude cannot stay fit for a long period of time. But he did just miss the international window, and he won't miss a lot of matches. So that's not a bad time to get hurt, if, I'm, if I get to choose like paid time off, like when you're going to take it. Going into the international breaks, great time. Erasmus Bach, Humberto Rodriguez. Hell yeah. Ollie Large, thank you for the two months. Appreciate the prime, dude. I'll see you in the next Save Your Saves. Hopefully, hopefully not. Hopefully your save's going well, but you know what I mean. <laughs> and Jen, thank you for the four months. Thank you guys for supporting the stream. You going to stop this save when you're the best manager or when you retire in the game? I'm going to stop this save once I feel like we've conquered the, uh, once I feel like we've gone from the bottom to the top. The top would obviously be, you know, winning a major league, winning a champions league. When I feel like there isn't something more for us to go out and accomplish. Uh, we already do have a champions league. Technically we have an African champions league which is the first time I've ever won that in FM. That was a fun, special run that we pulled off. Wow, Locatelli still has that game. Every time I see this guy's name, I think his name's George Wea, but it's George Wea. <laughs> Obviously, why would, I th why would I not think that? Obviously, it's George Wea. What's Carl been up to? Uh, yeah. I know him and Mr. Beast with her at the Inter Miami game, but oh, we got hit by a car. That didn't seem too terrible, though. We did talk after that, so uh, he's he's definitely alive. <laughs> Sorry, handed. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah, no, he got, well, I think it was like a car accident or something. He posted about it on Instagram. Bacchus, thank you for the two months. Thank you for supporting the stream, brother. Thank you for spending the $5 of Jeff Bezos money as well with that prime. I appreciate it. How's our boy Rodier doing? Actually, I have no idea. Nobody's called in a checkup on Rodier, but we could uh, go take a look on that here in a sec. As I continue the unbelievably difficult, arduous process of pruning my massive shortlist and removing all of the people that have been on my shortlist from previous years that no longer belong there. That is a, uh, it's a difficult, long-winded process, but... Bushafogo. Bushafogo. Oh, wait. Dude, that reminded me. I got the best YouTube comment of all time recently. Let me see if I can find it. Somebody got mad at me for pronouncing the name Tiago the correct way for the Brazil video. Oh, that just, I got to find it. That just is the funniest. I, I was laughing out loud. There it is. How hard is it to say Tiago? It's not Chiago. Just stop it, Zealand. Hilarious, dude. Because the most, like, I love this video for a lot of reasons. I think it's one of the best videos we've ever done. It's an amazing story, right? But I got so many compliments from Brazilian people. 
because I did spend a lot of time because I suck at Portuguese pronunciation. I spent a lot of time like practicing how to say uh like all of the names. And I know it's not perfect, but to how hard is it to say Tiago? It's not Tiago. I love my favorite version of like internet people. I, I don't know why I felt the need to show that to you. I just thought it was really funny, so I wanted to share. But my favorite version are, like of internet people, honestly, my favorite version of like content to consume that's like, you know, that that I would say that type of content where you're like it involves somebody else's misfortune. Um would be where people are very confidently wrong. Like, really, really confidently wrong. Like, re just incredibly confidently incorrect. And those people are in YouTube comments a lot. Puff Chatty, thank you for the 19 months. Thank you for supporting the stream. No, because I had to look up how to say the, the guy in the story, his name is Tiago Wretch, is how I would have said it in, like, if it was just a dude that was in my class in the United States. But I knew that wasn't right. So I, I listened to news stories and other YouTube uh, pieces about him say his, like, say his name. And it's Tiago Wretch. And I, like, you know, made sure I had that. Wait, Dave has a party. I forgot he's a face in the game. Oh, Dave. I know this guy. He's the Wolves researcher for a uh, football manager. And he's a face in the game player. So he comes into the game as a friggin' region. And he was in the England under 21s. And then McAvoy replaced him after he got hurt. Goodness gracious. Hey, Liverpool beat Arsenal. That's a good win for Liverpool. They've been down recently. Okay, we, uh, guess who won? Guess who won? Guess who freaking won 3 0 in the first half? Not even close. Freaking ridiculous. I am over it. Guess who won? You won't believe who won, dude. All right, Chikichi's going to give me 60 minutes. Gara's going to give me 60 minutes. Vandevin's probably going to give me 60 minutes. Let's just make sure we've got a bench that we like. Uh, Santi Jimenez should be here. Uh, They're actually saying right in the Portuguese act. Dude, I'll take that. I That was the best I could find, and I would listen to it and say it with, like, a lot of the names in that story. And for the first time, I got a lot of – I actually got a lot of compliments from Brazilians about, like, hey, you did a pretty job. I was like, wow, thank you. I really appreciate that. I was just trying not to embarrass myself. But, um, yeah, well, that's what we did. Brazilian Fury, thank you for the 100 bits. I trust with Endrick. Uh, you're the only manager I trust with Endrick wearing the Spurs kit. Thank you. That means a lot. We uh, I like to think that we haven't ruined him so far. He has been good. He has been good. He's been a good player. I want Rico on the bench. And as a result, unfortunately, one of you is going to have to depart. And that person is going to be Ashley Phillips. Sorry, Ashley. You make the most sense. There's no way they're playing James Ward-Prowse at his advanced age on the right wing. There's simply no way a man with six pace is playing on the right wing. Now, if he is, we are going to absolutely suffocate him and he will do nothing. Because I think he legitimately is playing on the right wing. That is insane. Look at the aggression. Gonzalo Inacio, Mickey Vandevin, George Chikichi. We are a hard-hitting team, dude. We got the international break. I feel like I can burn one of the I have faith in you. All right, at home against West Ham. We win this. We've won five straight competitive matches, which always just looks awesome on the recent form thing. Also, we need to win it. Friggin' keep pace with Manchester City because they're untouchable. So let's do that. 
We will uh, create a lot of separation for the rest of the league. We'll be, we win, we're five points clear of anybody that's not Manchester City. All right, West Ham. David Moyes, uh, where is – okay, so James Ward-Prowse is in the middle. I'm going to keep that uh, tight mark and close down on. That makes a lot more sense that he's not playing the wing. I don't know what my freaking scouting report was. Kudus at striker. It's a weird team, but they should actually be pretty good in possession. Come on, Vandeven. You'd already won the ball. Hope you realize pronunciation is only correct for Brazilian Portuguese. For the Portuguese they speak in Portugal itself, it's not pronounced that way, but with a normal T. Okay, yeah. Look, I, I, my goal was to say it right the way that he would say his name. That was my goal, right? My, my goal with those videos is to say it the way the person involved that I'm talking about would say it. And uh, so him being Brazilian, then that works. Sorry, I misread what the other person was saying then that I'm not. I, I thought they were saying that I was saying it right in the Portuguese way. Wait, I get a 10 minute timeout for donating $20 because of an innocent joke. What dumb thing did you say? I appreciate the $20, but. Oh, yeah. We try and keep things PG-13. The mods did their job right. But I appreciate the $20, dude. I, I, I'm sorry that um, that came up against the line. But I see where the mods were coming from on that one. Especially for something that's going to be read out. No, it wasn't racist. It was not, it was not bad. It was just like... Probably... if It, it probably wouldn't be in a PG-13 movie, you know? But I do really appreciate the $20 donation, man. And respect the fact that you don't give money to Bezos. I, I, that tracks. But no, it wasn't anything bad. It was what it was. James Ward Prowse is on the right wing. Cool. I mean, we're not going to change the way we approach it. We decided whether he's in the middle or not, but that's just a crazy David Moyes move to have him out there. Oh, nice pass. Eves, well played by Endrick. Excellent first time ball. Javi Guerra! Picks it up there, carries it into the space. Center back backs off. He keeps the midfielder behind him. That's harder to do than he made it look. That is an every match starter for Spain in that legendary Spanish midfield. I can't even pronounce goal. Yeah, I know. Can't even read. You've been brilliant so far. Clearly the best team in this rivalry. Now drive the point home. Okay. That didn't work. I feel like second didn't deserve the assist for that goal. Hey, they all count the same, dude. Coyote. Oh, that is a sick ball. Oh, how does he even see that? Oh, my Coyote with the eyes in the back of his head there. And he's on side. Way to hold the run. Kind of hate the first time ball there, but he, he might have just mishit it going with his right foot. Wow. Jean Neves, thank you so much for the prime, dude. 
Thank you for supporting the stream. Enjoy the bacon. Enjoy the emotes. Mickey Vandevin. Mickey Vandevin. Oh, and it's... Man, we're getting really good crossing positions and not winning the headers. Guerra? Ah, wow. He got that off. That's kind of crazy. What's the difference in type marking and without? I mean, if you put type marking on a player, then any player that happens to be near them, oh. That was pretty good contact there for a center back going for a bike in a crowd. I mean, he hit it well, and he hit it on target. They're just That was a very hard angle to score from. Let him cook. Absolutely let him cook. But, yeah, tight marking, if you have it specifically on a player on the other team, then the players that are near that player are going to try to be closer to them. They're going to take away that space. Uh, so you got to keep in mind, like, if you're tight marking somebody, who's the person that's going to be closest to them that's likely going to be having to do that job? Are they able to do that job physically, mentally, technically with the marking? Uh, but yeah, it's, it's used. I, I think James Ward Prowse is a brilliant example of so, he's somebody that if you leave him alone, he can really hurt. Oh my goodness. Come on, big save. Googly Elmo Vicario. Emotionally, yeah, they need to be able to they need to be able to be emotionally close to the player. Or they need to close that emotional distance. But James Ward Prowse is somebody with he's 36. He has no physical ability at all. He can't move, he can't separate. But we want to but you know, he is dangerous if he gets too much space. So we want to make sure we you know, we we not just tight mark him, but also close down just in case, you know, he ends up free of a a tight mark or anything, we're going to have somebody running at him all the time, so he has to play it quickly. We don't want to give him time to to dwell. Yeah. Am I planning on a new striker? Yes. Yeah, Skoda was never the long-term solution. Skoda was a great deal at $30 million. He's a He's the third best Italian striker. At least he's he gets called up to the national team, um, but he doesn't play. So, but, but yeah, we are we're looking for a star striker. I, I'm not like fully satisfied with where we're at, but Skoda does a good job. We want to sell Santi Jimenez and we wanted to bring in Ivan Alves, but now he's too expensive. So I don't I don't know what we're gonna do. That's gonna come down to January. We're gonna get the Haroldson money, hopefully get money for Santi Jimenez and Pape Matasar. Hopefully we get that money and then we can go from there and try and find a a real power user of a striker. Nice pass. Oh, Javi Guerra, that's just wonderful football there. 2-0 and a brace for the Spaniard abroad. Oh, yes. Eves Masuma spreading the love. There's not enough defenders to go round. Javi Guerra's wide open, and that's a sterling finish. Unmarked. Getting rid of Saar. Uh, yes, we're trying to adopt him out. Uh, we have been trying to adopt him out for some time, actually. Hoping that uh, hoping that really comes through. Bellarmino, Seca, you're going to play a little longer, but Ro yeah, Doig and, and Romo, Ch uh, Chikichi giving us 60 minutes was fine. Good to get him back on, a, on the field in the Premier League match. All right, Guerra. Javi Guerra. Oh, that's Hendrick. Make it happen. Make the dream work, brother. Who is that? Gifted subs? Derlogi, thank you so much for the five gifted subs. Thank you for making five people's days. Chat, send your love to Derlogi. They just gave five people the bacon, the emotes, and the ad-free experience for a whole month. Um, Jack, Doohickey, Raymond Rodney, Wookie. There's a hat trick for you, by the way. Javi Guerra with a hat trick in the captain's armband. But if you got a gifted sub, be sure to say thank you, Derlogi. Thank you for supporting the stream with kindness. I didn't see the pass. I was reading chat.
Oh, that's so good. Oh, I love Aneko Romo is so fun. I can't believe we loaned this guy in. Oh, what a dime. What a touch. And it's Javi Guerra with a hat trick from midfield for Tottenham Hotspur in a London derby. That was a sick pass by Aneko Romo. Oh, that should have been a goal from Gonzalo Anasio. Hey, subs, I know Gonzalo, you almost scored. Javi Guerra is about to cough up a lung. Um, Yanni, you're in. All right, Endrick is finally match sharp, which is great. Um, doo -doo -doo. Uh. All right, Regevich, Constantelius. Getting some new, fresh midfield quality in. Even though Javi Guerra was brilliant, standing ovation after his hat trick. Endrick, I like that, as long as he's on side. He was. Love that! How does Rosales not win that header? Such a big, strong lad. That was such a beautiful ball back in as well. We are, dude, this tactic we've cooked up and the way we've built our team to it, we're very good right now. Like, I know it's flying under the radar because we're not top of the league, but the vast majority of the time, 28 points from 11 matches would absolutely be top of the league. We are abs we are cooking. We are we are cooking. With a team that we squeaked fourth place with, a team that we took over and they were sitting in 11th place. We cannot take for granted how well we have played in the league. We have just been man we've been managing to beat every team we're supposed to beat, and that's really hard to do in this league. Hendrick, nice yo-yo. Bad header. Yeah, we're, we're making, like, honestly, fairly comfortably. I mean, 20 shots to two. A lot of the matches we're playing against the mid-table teams are looking like this. On the road or at home. Do they have to get a pin out of that? Whatever, make it take the rest of the time. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's outside of the box. <laughs> it's an awful spot for a free kick. Who is anybody like in danger of immediate death? Hendrick. Mikey Moore is going to be like, I would have rather just stayed on the bench, but I get it. We don't want any more high intensity sprints from Hendrick. Oh, Regevich, you got to move, man. Nice. I am delighted. Beating our rivals at home, wonderful. Tremendous performance. Enjoy your international break. We are soaring. And guess who we get out of the international break if it is an Arsenal away? Hello, Pep Guardiola. How are you doing? Yo, nice work. Sure he is. That's a good finish with uh, Udinese first season. Well played, my brother. Well played. Just started. Uh, yeah. Is Holland still playing? Yeah. Yes, he is. Let me check. Is Holland still? Yep. Yep. Okay. He's still playing. Was just checking. Hendrick second, which is awesome. Kieran Tall could be your answer at striker, but he's too similar to Simone Skoda for me to be able to justify it. 22 year old striker. I'm sure he could get better. But, um, yeah, Simone Skoda's second in the league in match rating, you know? Come on, man. Come on, man. Did I, I, did I have no players on this? That's crazy that I didn't have one. Not like a Bellarmino Seca or anything. Lamine Yamal, 23 years old, best player in the world according to goal 50. Oh. But he's English. Very true. Simone Scotta is not English. I can't believe I missed that. Booze free. All right, what do we got? Uh, exactly 100. Dude, we are so close. We are so close, man. We are, we are so close to having it all done. So freaking close, dude. 
the massive shortlist update that was required with our brand new massive scouting department. Whew. Arsenal away right out of the international break. That is a beautiful match to bring us back. Oh, Rodier, you're right. We didn't look at Rodier. I kind of promised it. We didn't look. He, what was that? A freaking cup match? He didn't he didn't play another league match. Which is what I was looking for. Um Oh, Isaac Babati. Wasn't he still like in a giant rehab thing? He shouldn't be playing. Okay. Maxime Rodier, our former one of our former favorite players at Saint Etienne. Uh he's having an okay year. Not his best. Obviously, last year he wasn't he was first year in league on six goals, twelve assists, brilliant player. Uh hurt a lot last year. Played the vast majority of league matches for them this year, already on four goals, three assists. He's doing all right. Where's Saint Etienne? Tenth. The very solidly mid table. Finished eighth last year. We got them promoted and created a sustainable club. We love to see it. Are the training schedules I use public? Uh, yeah, I mean, we made a video about them um, where I where I explained them. I don't think I've made them public for this year's game and that, like, you could just go to the Steam Workshop and download the ones I'm using. I think you'd have to watch the video and create them. But I also could change that in about five seconds, so... If they're not up, I'll just go ahead and throw them up. Chic Keita. Always oh, 105 million? It's not that bad. What have I become? I look at that and I'm like, oh, that's reasonable. No, it's not, Zealand. This is preseason. I'm going to export it. Uh, this is. Zealand preseason published to Steam. Uh, on your knees for me. Yeah, this is, this is easy. This is Zealand um, one match. Did you laughing? All right, this is one match Sunday. Which is just a kind of an expedient thing that I made so that you don't have to switch around your Saturday one. And then we're going to load up the last bit, which is the two match. And that is Wednesday. All right. So, yeah, you get, they should be all up on uh, Steam now. So you don't have to watch the video and create them yourself. Just robbed myself of some views. Where's my Sigma grind set? Nah, for real. Just go to you go, you go to Steam, grab them. If you want to understand how they work and so you can ad make adjustments to them, then watch the video, obviously. But if you, you know, you can just grab those and plug them in, and life will be good too. Who is this? Oh, this is Maximus Sargent, who is improving. I mean, it's probably the exposure to the first team he got in that one League Cup match. Um, and are we gonna win this match? Please tell me we're gonna win this match. This is freaking Pizza Cup, and we need to win, or else we're out. Dude, what the f I started multiple first team players. We're out of the pizza cup. Hector Gamera got hurt again. It's Jover. We've been knocked out. I'm so cursed to the pizza cup, dude. I put a... I put, like, all the first-team players in that game that weren't on international duty, which, granted, those aren't the best first-team players going, but, like, they're all right. Certainly better than anybody Exeter City is going to be wheeling out, right? Goodness gracious me. Goodness gracious. Out of the pizza. Group stage, dude. There's, like, 87 knockout rounds to that cup. We couldn't even make it to the knockout rounds. Uh, Giacomo. 
No short list for Giacomo? No. <laughs> John Deutz, Atlanta defensive midfield. Now, this is another, you know, well, terrible adaptability, poor consistency, and a dislike of big matches are a very good way to take yourself from a let's move him to the different short list. Uh, now I never want to see him again. That's a pretty bad triumvirate that guy had going in the not not a mentality monster, shall we say? All right, who's hanging around? We've got Babadi who's not going to play, but Phillips and Franco Mastantuano can play. U twenty one Premier Division. Oh, Babadi is actually cleared, so let's um, dude shattered his leg in the preseason. He's been a complete non factor. See what he's got. <laughs> Ah, uh, no disrespect to X. I mean, look, come on. The amount of money that we spend on players relative to even the amount of money the guys that were playing in that match are getting paid in wages relative to what the guys at X are, are getting paid. They should never, for what we're paying for, they should never be able to hold a candle to us. So it's not like a Exeter bad, let's laugh at Exeter, man. It's we're we're operating in completely different worlds, right? I just drew away to Barcelona. Exeter's gotten a way day against like freaking Millwall coming up. We need to be winning that match, even if I'm playing with my U12s. Okay, Thierry Henry, 20 jumping reach forward from Sao Paulo in Brazil. He is a real player. Just makes it so much more awesome. Can't wait. Probably never going to sign him, but that 20 jumping reach makes him literally always a useful player to at least keep an eye on. Because there is nobody that can beat him at headers in the entire world. Nobody in the world of football jumps higher than Thierry Henry. That's a sentence. Hey, George Chikichi scored for uh, Germany. We love to see it. Champions of the Pizza Cup. They'll never sing that. Oh, it was his first goal? That's why they're making such a big deal out of it. He was expressionless after I first complimented him. I thought I was about to become part of the meme there for a second. Oh, dude, you have eight strength and you're playing center back. Abraham, your forefathers would be disappointed in you. Lamine Fall. I there. Well, that's a very common name in FM. Brings back fond memories of ODFC's Wonder Kid defensive midfielder. What a box to box player Aster Franks is. Okay, so this kid's supposed to be amazing. Um. 16-year-old Shea Guetta. It's actually David Guetta's son, um, which is really useful because, you know, he was able to spend more time as a child with the best coaches. Also, surprisingly decent vocalist. Um, he does not want to join us, but this is one of those players that's just very clearly going to be a world-class superstar. And I am interested in at least seeing if he would want to talk to me. I know he probably doesn't, but... Sometimes uh, when you put the offer in, then all of a sudden they are willing to talk to you. What a player. At 16 years old. That's what we're looking for. When we trawl through those youth national teams, you find a guy named Shea Guetta, capped at Mexican U23 level at 16 years old. Second in the Mexican League in assists at freaking 16 years old. I mean, that's amazing. Santa, no. Who else is going to miss wide open goals now? Not Santa. Rumors he was conceived in Tomorrowland. Uh, yeah. The love child of David Guetta and like. I'm trying to think of Nicki Minaj. 
He had an interesting first birthday party. They have a song together, right? I'm not I'm not making that up. They have a song together. I was trying to think of somebody that he had. He has a song with everybody, I guess. I could have gone wherever I wanted to with that. But I was trying to think of somebody that he, had a, he has a song with. Yeah, so I mean, hey. Did Tarom look good? I didn't look at him enough. But he is playing for Liverpool, so I mean... I'm just working under the assumption we're just never going to buy anybody from one of the massive English clubs. Every once in a while it makes sense when they have somebody on a huge wage that uh, they can't get rid of. Then you can like swoop in and get good value, but the vast majority of the time, there is no good value to be found in buying somebody from a Liverpool. Robert. So this dude's getting paid $26.5 million a year. That is over 500000 a week. Newcastle is paying remarkable money. They are paying stupid money. Okie dokily. Uh, Ziggy's not playing enough. Well, that sucks. Come on, man. It's my fault. Yeah, there you go. It is your fault. Okay? Freaking play him. Don't make me call you again. I will. I'll set a reminder on my freaking app. My calendar. And I will call. Richard V. Oh, this dude's worth way more than seven million. Than whatever, whatever that asking price is. He's not a guy that walks into our first team right away, but he is worth way more than what they think he is. And we've already signed this guy. Fabian Polstramandos is joining us in January. Noboyuki Fujiki. Screw you, Liverpool. That guy looks so fun. We have our own. We have our own Japanese wonder kid. Just wait until he he's actually gonna be sharp enough to get near a team now. For the first time since he joined the squad, which is so refreshing. Can't wait. Lucas, one of those wonder kids that's not actually good at anything. You know those guys? You watch him and you're like, ah, what does he, what is it, what, so what does he do? <laughs> like, I, get, I get that he has high attributes in something, but or is the something relevant? Right? Is it natural fitness and work rate? Like, what do we, work rate's great. But it's an auxiliary. You got to be able to do something once you get there. This is actually not that bad. I just, the consistency injury prone and big matches are all there as a, a downside. And that's something that really is, is putting me off. Oh, Gift Orban. Love you. Oh, hate that. Love KO Day, so I hate that. He'll be almost ready by the time we uh we get to the Arsenal match. Maybe he can sneak onto the bench, cleared for like 45 minutes. I trust my physiotherapy staff. This dude has 25 caps for Bosnia and he's 20 years old. That is insane. We're in Newcastle in the league. Uh, they finished fifth last year, which was a Champions League spot, and they are fifth again. But they have been really good basically the whole save. Uh, fourth, seventh, 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 fourth, tenth, fourth, fifth. So they actually somehow haven't cracked the top three, which is amazing. Uh, they're coached by former coach of Tottenham Hotspur, Zinedine Zidane, who left the job to take over Tottenham and returned after Tottenham let him go. 
So he is uh, he's trying to lead the rejuvenation, but they are paying unbelievable wages. Sandra Tonali is making thirty three and a half thousand, thirty three and a half million per year. Oh, here's Lalamella bad boy. Somebody like summoned him into existence. So Saint Etienne's not loaning him out this year, and he's playing in the Saint Etienne second team in the fourth division of France. So I hope he gets out of Saint Etienne because he was doing okay in the Scottish Premiership last season. But we'll see. His career might be stalling out in Europe a bit if Saint Etienne don't see his value. Wow, North American Nations League, Mexico and Guadalupe with the draw. And Mexico goes through on aggregate. The U.S. is all right. Canada beat Curacao 8-0, and Jamaica beat Suriname. So that sets up a classic semifinal with Canada, Jamaica, USA, Mexico. The four best teams in CONCACAF. Yes, it's not. He's not overwhelmingly athletic enough for me to value that athleticism as highly as I was by keeping him on the list. Takashi Narita. Uh, see, terrible adaptability coming from a place like Japan can torpedo his entire career. So we are not not excited about that. Not not interested in that. Of course, the contracts are insane. Santi, yeah, he gave me Santi's contract and Pape Matarsars. Uh, all, all of the crazy contracts on this team were the doing of uh, one man, Zinedine Zidane. Hey, look, it's the Argentine Lola Mella bad boy, as he's become known, Claudio Machado. It's a very good value on this guy that he's only $12 because he's a very solid center back. Ashin Sultani, star turn for... Uh, Iran. Well, I actually seen how Rodier was doing. Yeah, he's uh, four goals, three assists early in the year. Seems to be staying fit. It's definitely played in the vast majority of uh, of their matches. So he's he's on the move, returning to his level, same as the match day. What do you guys think? I don't think Kazuma Kanda is going to make the bench for this match. So let's keep working on his match sharpness. We want to make sure he is really sharp and fit and ready to go. Because we have great long-term plans for Kazuma Kanda. We really like Kazuma Kanda. But I've, I made the mistake of rushing him back too fast last time, and he got hurt again. So that sharpness is going all the way up before he sniffs the bench. Because we need him to be fit. Once we get him up to that full match sharpness, he can be involved as a, uh, like, subs. He, he actually doesn't make the bench when the whole team's fit anyways. Obviously, we want to have him involved. But match sharpness is important for avoiding injuries as well, and so we're juicing that up. God, what, did Mexico play yesterday? Come on, Rosales, get it together. All right. Team is ready. We just need KO day. Was he cleared? Fitness test not required. So if we need him, we can bring him in. Duly noted. Hector Gamera, who has struggled mightily with the injury bug this year. Like that there's three interested teams in Papi Matarsari. It looks like he's not enjoying the fact that he's not playing at all, which is a situation we're trying to create. All right, I'm going aggressive, chat. I, I am going aggressive. I know that might seem kind of insane, but I, I think that aggression's key here. We want to try and take it to them early. We've been playing tremendous ball recently. Take it to them. Away against Arsenal. 
biggest match we're going to have in the Premier League in a long time, right? They're in fourth. We got a match in hand, and we're seven points clear. But they are also the team that has won the Premier League for four straight years. Uh, so this is, you know, they're coached by Pep Guardiola. This is you know, the highest level that we can be playing at in the Premier League is going away against them. So. We're coming out aggressive. Our manic, aggressive style we like playing. The tactic that's treated us well. The tactic we've built ourselves uh, to. Good job, Mads. Thank you for the 33 months, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. Only three more months till our third Twitch child. Z. Wow, I should probably start paying uh, child support, shouldn't I? Um, sounds like something I should do. Okay. <laughs> Bellarino Seca, I've got faith in you. Let's go. Let's go. Let's freaking do it. I need, um, hold on. Can I get a, uh, can I, excuse me. Excuse me. Can I get an eye of the tiger, please? Just one. We're going into hostile territory. Against the four time reigning Premier League champions, Arsenal. Who are on the fall down and we need to announce that the guard has changed and that we are the team now from North London that will be handling business. Great Derby music. Let's go. Basuma, Gera. Oh, good. Keep it up. First shot inside a minute. Love it. Keep it up. No, I, I, I look, it's not a Stacy thing. I just have to reset the capture card that's been coming. It's fine. I'm going to reset it. It'll be all right. Probably should do that before uh, more often than I do anyways. All right. Uh, give me a second. And we're back. Yep. Okay. Lock back in, chat. Lock back in. Thank you guys for letting me know also, because that's obviously not something that I uh, am able to, like, not something I would notice while I'm stuck into a match. So please do let me know when the graphics card needs a reset. Or not the graphics card, when the capture card needs a reset. Words. Luminary. Well. Fascinating. Love how we left the best player on the other team unmarked at the back post. I loved that. Absolutely loved it. Thought it was really helpful to the uh, to the cause that we just left that guy alone. Not been. It was going to take a lot of mental fortitude to pull this back. Because uh, we've got an injury to one of our stars, Shikichi. Oh, Skoda, way to get that under... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's stupid. Jared Shikichi's picked up an injury. We've conceded a goal, and there's not a lot of highlights going on, and we can't seem to get a hold of the ball, even though we have a lot more shots than them. Uh... All right, we don't deserve to be losing. Keep pushing. Oh, both of my wings? What the hell are they doing, dude? We got to get George off for Giannis. Uh, or actually, I'm going to go with Neko. I've loved the way Neko was playing recently. 
Well, they injured both of my wingers. My two, like, literally, I would say two of the three best players on my team. Endrick, Jared Shikichi, Bellarmino, Seca. That second line that is just unbelievable. Have both been injured. Pep, I'm watching you, man. You dirty dog. Oh, I brought in Parida Gudice. Because we did injure Ethan Dwineri. This has been an, an insanely physical uh, game, apparently. We're going to go into attacking. I can't believe we messed that marking up so bad on that goal. Now, we injured their striker. They injured my two wingers. So, North London Derby, not disappointing right now. But they have the lead, which sucks. We need uh, we need to flip that. Good. That that's that. Oh, that's such a bad ball back in, Rico. That's an excellent play by a yellow carded Eves Basuma. All right, Hendrick. Left him in because he had a bit more fitness with his injury. Seca. Oh, Romo. That would have been a ridiculous goal. He should have brought it down. Made a good start to the second half, it would seem. I'm going to hit one more shout, and then we'll be looking to make some changes if that doesn't produce anything. Okay. Love that. Very eventful. Um, uh, I'm in love with Stacy's mom. All right. Okay, uh, An Echo Romo is going to striker. We're going to complete forward him. Yannis Constantelius is coming in. Mikey Moore is coming in because Hendrick's obviously dragging. Um, I have loved what Eves Basum is doing. I'm going to leave him in for now. My two center backs are both in a freaking 6.5. That's so frustrating. Only other offensive substitution we have really is Ginny's Regevich. We're bringing in our other three offensive subs already. Moore, Constantelius, and Eka Romo, they're all there. Um, all right, that's that. Constantelius and Mikey Moore, you're getting in there. Come on now. Skoda was terrible. He was really bad, so. I need you some help. I saw Javi Guerra's tired. Oh, nice play. Constantelius! Yannis! <laughs> Come on, Aneko. Good. I love that he didn't pass it. Like, I'm not even being sarcastic. I love that he didn't pass it. Okay, uh, Guerra's off. All right. Jenny's Rejevic. Coming in for Javi Guerra. We're making our usual adjustment here. We are getting uh, we're getting as aggressive as we can. Who else is tired? Uh, we'll go Doig for Vandeven so we can keep putting the pressure on him down that wing. Uh, we don't want any playmaker that is uh, vacuuming the ball towards them. We just want the ball moving around with pace and aggression and getting up the field. And Doig and Rejevich, let's make it happen. Let's make a magic moment happen. Come on now. This is the match for us. This is the match for us. We got to make this happen. Okay, you stretch the field that way. Wrong, I lost the friend. Uh, we'll put the guy that just came in on attack. That's just a recipe for me giving the ball away. I'm not going to put Ashley Phillips on ball playing defender. Come on, guys. Dude, they've just packed it in, man. They got that goal. They've just packed it. They don't have a shot since the goal in like the 22nd minute. And they have been able to limit us. Oh, nice, Basuma. Regevich. Oh, my. It's a Neko. Oh, he hit the post. Solars.
Seca corner. Everybody up. Everybody up. Everybody up. Every single person up. Goalkeeper included. All right. There's Vicario. Ball's in. It's towards Vicario. Oh, hit it. Oh. I wasn't a bad effort at it. Yeah, I just didn't get down quick enough. That sucks. We gave him we gave him one chance and they took it. We didn't take a couple of ours. Played much better in the second half. We uh we really we outpossessed him in the second half. Just um Yeah, getting our two star playmakers hurt sucked. I, there's not a lot from that that I can take where I'm like disappointed with our team. Um, but very bitter pill to swallow, obviously, when they've won four consecutive titles. They're our hated rival, and we would have loved to have announced the changing of the guard by winning at their at their place. But uh, Andrix stubbed his toe. He's out seven to ten days. George just had a tight hamstring. Fortunately, he's out for just one day. Might be able to play a factor in the Ajax match. Uh, we'll see. We do have we have Champions League's three days, so you got to bounce back quick, you know. Short memory, you got to bounce back quick with it. Short memory, you got to bounce back quick. Oh, Wadron tore his hamstring or his thigh. Sorry, not that that makes much of a difference. He's out on loan, but it sucks for him. So he's a guy that could factor into the first team. I don't know if Conda's registered for the Champions League. Conda o'clock might be Leicester. Because he will be sharp now. Should get a better goalie. Nah, I, I don't I don't blame Vicario for that, uh, for the goal they scored. Not at all. Oh, of course City lost too. Oh god, that was our chance. City just lost City lost yesterday, but for the first time all season they freaking lost a match. First time all season they didn't win. And we fumbled the chance to gain points on them. Obviously, every point matters. Like we just want to win every game, but that uh that sucks. I mean, actually, all things considered, it's great that they lost because we lost. Well, uh, that helps bring them back. You know, we we are still just five points off the top of the league, even though we just lost a match. So gotta be thankful for that. Okay, Isaac Babadi is deteriorated after breaking his leg. You know, I don't really blame him for that. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't think it's his fault. <laughs> if five-star goalies even exist in this game, I swear there are, like, no new-gen goalkeepers in FM this year. Or last year, dude. I, I, I remember in the game last year, I was desperate for, like, a Wonder Kid goalkeeper to just appear somewhere. Just wasn't getting one. Julio Pindabera. Guy gets all the hype in the world, but I don't think he's actually that good. Enrique Portnoy. Is that my Wonder Kid goalkeeper? He's not good. Trying to answer my prayers with a bad player? What are you doing? Sven Berlin. I do love that name. Artigolaire. Boy, he's fun. Emile Smith Rowe, yeah, that would that would set something off. If we <laughs> if we signed Emile Smith Rowe, that would uh, that would set something off. Mohamed Mejaid, yeah, I'll believe that potential ability when I see it. For me, and yo, yeah, my scouts think you're better than you are, so enjoy that while it lasts. So frustrated that dude chose Newcastle over us. Wow, Napoli's paying 15 mil a year. That is a monster wage for them. Wow, the physical ability on Jarrell Hato. Look at that. Strength, height, speed. Woof. Good luck running by him. Ah, there we go. 
Eduardo Trujillo. I'm just going to start signing the entire Mexican Golden Generation at a certain point. It is what it is, brother. It is what it is. Whenever I find a good goalkeeper, they're either scared of the ball or more eccentric than Onana. <laughs> Yeah, I just, I, I, last year and then this year, I have not seen like good wonder. Now, granted, goalkeepers develop later, right? So the idea of, oh, a wonder kid goalkeeper, right? They develop later. So maybe where I'm just not giving it enough time. Just have your team be the national team, cohesion will be fire. Now, what it does is if you sign multiple guys like that, it really helps them adapt. So you start getting better performances out of them earlier. Uh, okay, Kazuma Kanda, you're going to get 45 minutes in the youth uh, Champions League tilt. And then that's it, Brohim Tato Chip. Then you are all set. All the time. Okay, Kyote Gamera uh, Chikichi is not okay. Indrik, very not okay. Probably be back by the next match. Chikichi is okay off the bench. But not as a starter. God, they just ruined my... They, they, they assaulted my entire team, man. Physically attacked my entire team. This is ridiculous. Um, I need... Anybody seen a left wing? There you go. Mikey Moore. Uh, actually, Mikey, you're over there. The Neko, you're over there. There, that team looks better. All right, Coyote, not cleared. Neither is Rico Lewis, I guess. So we're just kind of figuring that out. Do, 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 do. All right, Hector Gamera, I guess you can go through the process of getting ready. Indrik cannot. Indrik is not cleared by the physiotherapy staff to play, so we're just going to pretend that was a game-time decision. So Vicario, Rico, Lewis, Ashley Phillips. I am going to slip Rosales in there next to Ashley Phillips. Then Van Devens out for Doig. Pretty rotated, still expecting a win here. Led by our captain, Rico, Lewis, Regevic. Basuma's apparently fully fit and ready to go, which is kind of wild. Bit of a beat-up bench, obviously. Seca, we don't want him to play. He will play if he has to. Chikichi, we would also prefer he doesn't play, which means we'd take this match over early. We'll see what we're capable of, I guess. Uh, Mikey Moore and Echo Romo, and I will start Marcelo Enrique. Just clean sweep all the way. Oh, dude, Arda is playing for Ajax? How did I notice that? What? Najee Univar, Takafu, Sakubo, Facundo, Torres. This team is super annoyingly good. Very annoying amount of talent on there. Luca Pellegrini, Divine Wrench. Like half my half these guys are on my shortlist. Sick. Our uh, our team is still good enough to take care of this. The team we have out there is still plenty good enough to take care of this and get the win, especially at home. Especially at home. Real opportunity for you boys today. Make an impression. Champions League. Oh. Oh. Hello? It's a Champions League night at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. It's Tottenham and Ajax. A Tottenham Hotspur side with two wins, 
from four matches in the Champions League, both at home. Their two home ties draws away to Benfica and Barcelona. But a real opportunity to test their metal against an incredibly skilled Ajax side. Constantelius! Oh. Nearly one from the Europa League hero, Yanis Constantelius. It's an Echo Roma! Oh, goal in Echo Romo! The Loney from Manchester City's done it again, and Neko Romo. Manchester United are losing 2-1 to Basel. They were 2-0 down at St. Jacob Park. Milan's beating Newcastle, looking rough for the English sides right now. Radjevic, Skoda. Ooh. But I love the goal off a set-piece play for a Neko. Makes it even more painfully miss that stoppage time chance against Arsenal. Oh, well stepped, Doig. Well stepped. An Echo Romo. The latest, greatest low knee to Mikey Moore. <sighs> oh, but an Echo has put a vice grip on this left wing spot if Shigichi's not fit. Oh, Enrique. Nope. I was a little afraid putting you out there instead of Basuma. I looked at it long and hard there. Come on, Mikey. There you go. Way to battle. The Academy boy. That would be mine. Doig. Doig. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Constantelius scores! Isn't it Newcastle? Wait, is he... I do... That was a ridiculous goal. I'm aware. Is he at? Dude, it's totally Newcastle. That's hilarious. He's higher than the league than the team he's loaned in from. Great ball by Doig. Then whatever happens after that, God's plan, bro. God, God's plan, bro. Bro. <laughs> oh, man. That was uh, a fortunate second goal. Get better sources, Clive. Clive has no sources. Clive has vibes. Oh, that's a goal. Oh, he was offside. Okay. I will take that. Stunned he didn't score it anyways. Come on now. Lock in. I was blocked, I think. Okay, Constantelius, good, there you go. Oh, nice. Skoda, well, well played by Skoda. A classy, well-rounded forward. Able to receive the ball and distribute. Surely not a third. Yanis. I was joking. I wanted you to score. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, will you show off? What are you doing? Doig, nice. Marcelo Enrique, classy. Constantelius, love that. Rejevic. Oh, Skoda! Ah, oh, you lemon, dude. Could you actually be decent for once? I know I was just complimenting him, but seriously? I've had it up to here. Yeah, Scott is just worse than the guys that play directly behind him, so it kind of kind of really shines through. He's not bad though. We're able to win with Skoda playing, but he's not like you know, he'll finish a good amount of obvious chances. His build up plays really nice. 
has a pretty good bit of like physicality. Keep the ball up, throw an elbow, but he's not the reason we win most of the time. Ah, Rajovic. Rejevic. Ooh, look at that. Look at that goal. Mikey Moore makes it 3 0. Constantelius assesses the situation, zips it right through. First time shot, no time to react. Ix getting overrun by a rampant Tottenham Hotspur, forgetting about their North London Derby defeat on the weekend with a convincing result up to this point here. There you go. Love the shape we've adopted. I believe that's called a ball. Look at Doig go. He's been a pleasant surprise. That dude was out on loan from the club last year, and he came back, and I'm like, that's my new backup left back. And he's just been very, very good at it. Oh, loving it, loving it. I am loving it. Oh, he's going to find somebody. No, he's not. He's going to almost score himself. What would have been a beautiful goal. And I'm sad for him that it did not work out. Because, wow. That would have been cool. So, the bench. KO Day. You're coming in for Rico. Um, guess we have Mast and Tuano. Right now it's just KO day. We just we we just don't want an injury at the right back position if we can avoid it. You got two guys that are lacking uh, fitness. We'll play both of them part of the match. That'll work out well, right? Yo, I am not a squirrel. I'm not buying it. I think you are a squirrel, but regardless, I appreciate the 31 months. Thank you for supporting the stream. Cheers, dude. Cheers, dude. Enjoy the lack of ads for another month. You just say Basel's up 5-3. Are those those words you just said? 6-3. How dare you lie to me? Yeah, that's exactly what a squirrel would say, that they're not a squirrel. Yo, Sandstorm, thank you for the 27 months with the Twitch Prime Ski. Congrats on your third Twitch child. And uh, thank you for spending $5 of Jeff Bezos' money to support the stream. You're doing the world a service. What a shot. Are you the real Darude Sandstorm, or are you just like a fake one? Goodness gracious. What a terrible hit that was by Rajovic. Love Rajovic. Awful shot. Really, really terrible shot. Hector Gamera, you're coming in. England McAvoy, you're coming in. Franco Mastantuano, uh, you're coming in for Constantelius. We'll let uh, Aneka Romo work on his match sharpness, but we are making three changes that might be a bit of a surprise to people paying attention to the team sheets. More sand drizzle. Ah, well, no, I mean, he's sandstorm. I didn't mean to say you're a fake sandstorm. It's just there's there's only one Darude sandstorm. After 10 in-game years, I just won the Champions League for the first time in my FM life with my favorite team, Hamburg. Thank you so much for all the help. Wow. Chat, clap it up for Mr. Benane. Christchurch, New Zealand, Hector. What the hell? 
First of all, congratulations. That is uh, y y your first champion. Dude, your first Champions League is always a magical experience. I'm sorry Hector de Gamara seems to have detracted from that with an absolutely disgusting goal. Come on. Dude, this is my, my fifth option at striker. Hector Gamera is like a central midfielder who just can play. Oh. I don't know if FM would consider that a goal of the season candidate, but it should be. That is an absurd hit. First time ball from Maston Tuano, too. That's so Van Persie. Just the contact, absolutely perfect. And what a 4-0 delivery. We need, I said we needed to win these two matches at home against Dodd, Renee, and Ajax. We are delivering that. That is what we are delivering. Couldn't be happier with it. Um, yeah, this has, been, this has been excellent. Beat Stad Renee. Beat a real good Ajax team real badly with a pretty rotated first team, mind you. Said, look at Nasty from Basel. He has uh, four goals. I've heard he's quite nasty. Thank you. Oh, Mastin Tuano. Dang it. I ah, dang it. Nice touch, Phillips. Hey, O'Day. Bring it back. Yeah. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. That dude, great win. 4 nil with a rotated team against an Ajax side that seems to have collected a lot of talent. And all of a sudden, with three matches to play in the Champions League league stage, we're chilling out in second place, which is not bad. We delivered the two wins we needed. Now I feel a lot more comfortable. No. Don't you dare. I subbed them out, too. Don't you dare hit me with fitness concerns on Rico Lewis and Simone Scotta. Don't you, the, uh, the gall, the temerity to hit me with fitness concerns on those two players. Oh, the gumption. Okay, give me, uh, I think if I just keep asking about the junior coaching budget, he will eventually give ground. Because if Einstein taught us anything, it's that if I do the same thing over and over again, I can expect a different result. That is what he taught me. When Einstein was my personal tutor, that's what he told me. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. The Basel-Manchester United match, which was apparently the most insane match of all time. 6-4, Basel from Switzerland, defeating Manchester United. Thanks to, uh, yeah, it was two goals there at the end, but Marco Nasti, a 27-year-old Italian who in real life plays for Cosenza or AC Milan Academy. Just had the moment of his life. Couple of goals from uh, Jamie Donnelly. 
of Northern Ireland. Do 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 Tottenham Academy player actually. Wonder what we let him go for. Cool hundred forty one million that United paid for Jamie Donnelly. Yeah, I take that. I take 141 million for almost any player in the game. And with that money, you might say it to you, man, as an Icelandic Messi. So true. But we're going to get our money back out of Icelandic Messi. Uh, Hock and Arner Haraldson, speaking of which. How close are we? He's played 12 matches. <sighs> Three matches away. Three matches away. Any uh, any surprises? I didn't look at yesterday outside of that last match. We'd have Dortmund beat Juventus. Arsenal was held level by Hoffenheim. Newcastle did lose. PSG beat Real Madrid after Vinny got sent off. That's crazy. Benfica with the win over Salzburg. Antwerp beat Farivar in the least exciting Champions League match of all time. Um, City lost to Bayern Munich, so they have lost this year now. Partizan continues a wild but good campaign. Olympiacos upset Sociedad. Leipzig beat Brugge. Feyenoord upset Sevilla, led by Sebastian Szymanski in the opening minute. And Galatasaray held Stad Rene to a draw. Nice. Okay, three matches left, and we get $92 million from the Hakan Arner Haraldson transfer. And that will be great help. That should hit us right as we're getting into January, and the money will come flying over. Oh, they just, okay, I was actually, what the hell? He increased our transfer budget by, well, $7 million. He didn't increase it by a lot, but he did increase our junior coaching budget. Thank you, Daniel Levy. He did not agree to increase the club's payroll because of our current rich financial situation. Totally understood, dude. But, you know, he added $7 million to our transfer budget. He increased our junior coaching budget. I appreciate what he's trying to do here. You know, he's really being thoughtful. He's looking out for the little guy, us. All right, Leicester at home, then a surprisingly resurgent Crystal Palace away. I am not going to play Conda. I believe he will make the at least the bench for this match. King Kazu, the Japanese wonder kid, will be making an appearance. I was like, if that was him, that would have been so unfortunate. A lot of little injuries coming to a close in the next couple of days. Ooh, Dinamo Zagreb's got a guy. I love it when Dinamo Zagreb's got a guy. Target forward's an interesting guy to have. Marco Palma. I wonder how much are you paying him? 9.3 million a year already? Goodness gracious. Couldn't hang on to that youth contract a year longer. He's like 18 years old, man. And he's definitely not Jude Bellingham. In which case, that would be completely justified. Let me be clear. Yeah, but Daniel Levy gave us two of our three requests. We got seven more in seven million more in the transfer budget. We're gonna have the best, you know, we're gonna have the highest level of junior coaching along with the highest level of youth recruitment, which we already have, which is important, especially considering you know one of our goals is to have 
the best youth setup in the world. Like one of our goals as a club is to have the best youth setup in the world. So that is definitely important. I am guessing I am not due for a week off anytime soon, considering we're about to get into January. Not a week off, but like a midweek without a match. Yeah, no, we've got Milan in the Champions League. We've got the League Cup quarterfinal against Bradford. Yeah, there, uh, there's no rest for the weary through the January here. But Hector Gamera is back after his amazing goal against Ajax, which he was technically injured while scoring. I honestly forgot Vuskovic was coming back from an injury. It's been it's been so long. Santi Jimenez is not cleared, which means I, and this is true, have zero strikers that I can play in this match because we do not want him to play. All right, Regovic, you're off. Javi Guerra, you're playing. Okay. Uh, Jared Shikichi, yes. Doig, you go ahead and play there. Coyote, you're going to take over for all Rico Lewis, please. Bellarmino Seca is going to play, but I hope that we're able to get him off quickly. Like, I hope we're on, we're on our game early. Where's, uh, Conda? Actually, uh, team sheet, starter, Kazuma Kondo. Mikey Moore plays the right wing. Actually, can he play striker? No, that would have been nice. That would have been a nice respite. Aneko Romo can, and he, we are developing him well for... Newcastle. They better thank me later. All right. We want to keep Simone Scotta and Rico Lewis off of off the bench so that they can get a full recovery in. So what do we have? Vicario, Coyote, Phillips, Rosales, uh, Doig, Javi Guerra, Eves Basuma. Actually, we'll just go Marcelo Enrique again. Mikey Moore, Bellarmino Seca, K uh, King Kazu Kanda, and Aneko Romo. We have Chikichi off the bench. Uh, we have serious ammo on both the wings, and obviously Constantelius as well. Mastin Tuano is the uh is the striker substitute, which is not a fun striker substitute, but I guess we could go Gamera. I will go Hector Gamera. He was he was better as a striker substitute last time. Obviously scored that ridiculous goal. So they're going 4-4-2. That should be fun. The fullbacks are not really aggressive, and they are Leicester. So we should be able to wheel a team out that is cohesive and has guys in the right spots and pick up a win. But we have the debut chat of King Kazu, the Japanese wonder kid that tore his hamstring at the start of the season. He's worked his way back up to good sharpness. We're going to lift the pressure. We're going to provide plenty of encouragement. A debut for the Japanese wonder kid at long last. And a home match against Leicester, which is an excellent opportunity to hit the reset button in Premier League play. A way trip to Crystal Palace in a couple of days is going to prove difficult. Is they are up in uh, sixth place right now. We gotta make this count, make this easy. He better not get injured in his debut. Hey, well, that's why we worked up his sharpness so that we could trust putting him out on the field and that he would be fine. We worked up his sharpness and now we're able to just throw him in there as a starter when we're, uh, we're dealing with a couple of, let's say nagging injuries, you know. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, my. Spoke a little too soon there. Uh, 
is Marcelo Enrique's clearance turned into the best pass that Lester could have made. Marcelo Enrique has cleared it right off the face of Kalechi Iannaccio and into the back of the net. So we just have to uh, find a way to score a couple of goals in this game, I guess. Mikey Moore, that is tough. I, I I don't want to mess around here because we're they're they're gonna be parked. They are they are in the middle. The way they're four four two, the middle is sunken really deep. So I'm gonna get aggressive, push our numbers forward a little more. Don't mind Javi Guerra having a hit anywhere around there. Oh, I will take that. They got a pretty cheap one. I will take that, dude. I, they, they might not call this a pen. They might not. King Kazu passing it to Doig. He basically gets an assist if this is a penalty. Thank you very much. And it is Javi Guerra in the captain's armband. The Spaniard abroad. Oh, yes. And it's 1-1 at Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I thought he got the ball, too. A lot of body contact, which obviously can be a pin sometimes. Wouldn't have been surprised if they reversed the call. They didn't. Javi Guerra makes him pay. It's 1-1. Basically, Kazu's goal. The way he set that up. All right, we got seven shots the first 20 minutes. Good match control. Oh, Kazu. Kazu! Oh, he hit the freaking post. And then that volley was blocked. I think he hit the post. Oh, Kazu. Now that was saved. Right hand of Kovar. And then Guerra's volley's blocked wide. Chaos. Phillips right at him. Dang it. Yeah, I, I thought he just missed it too, but fortunately, Javi Guerra was saved by the block because the goal was like pretty open there oh doig nice freaking play the fullbacks are not supposed to be doing that that is very rare from the way they're set up so come on boys get on your horse here oh nice header rosales that's such a dangerous play. oh my goodness is this us bellarmino said our highlight, what that's just if you're managing them, that's the worst feeling ever. They get an amazing free kick opportunity. It's a highlight, and somehow it's ours. Smashing keyboards. Kinda. Oh, what dude. I love this kid already. The shit just the way just the way he strikes the ball there. The shape of that pass. Oh, and it's a one-two to get it back to Kazu. Oh, he's swaggering around, dude. All right, an Echo Romo. Oh, King Kazu, Seca. He's got three defenders on him. Oh. Well covered by Rosales to keep the energy in the attack here, Doig. Oh, Conda. Ah. It's all right. He's already made some promising looking moves. Coyote. Mikey Moore. Ah. Coyote. Oh, Javi Guerra. Mikey Moore. Dude, what the hell? I wouldn't trust Kevin De Bruyne with that shot. You're taking it? I'll play it short, please. How we doing today? We're doing well. Uh, we lost the North London Derby 1-0, but we, you know, we've produced a win in every other match um we've won a couple of champions league ties against Stad renee and ajax at home two matches we needed to win if we wanted to get top eight and get that ticket into the last 16 of the champions league so glad we've been able to do that that is a terrible pass from one of the best midfielders in the world so 
If they end up scoring off a play that starts that way, I don't, you know, there's, I wouldn't change a thing because Bellarmino Seca contributes a lot more than he detracts. Seca, okay. Bellarmino, that's a foul. We move. Paulo, er, all right, Enrique, Conda. Oh, Kazu. That was a good spot. Now, I, uh, the first time I'm frustrated at you. He's off. He's off. He's off. Thank you. How long have I been at Spurs? Uh, almost a year. I got the job December 21st last year, and it is November 31st this year. We finished fourth, won the Europa League in our first year to end a 22-year trophy drought. And um, we're off to a buzzing start this year. Don't lose faith. We've created a lot of chances. Dude, what are you, what are, what, what, what are you doing? Come on, Vicario. You randomly get taken down by nerves like once every five matches. Is there an easy way to track when the youth international competitions are occurring in game? You can follow them. And I think there's a setting deep in the settings of football manager where if you're following something, oh my goodness. Where you can have the, when it like report, like news reports from that event goes to your inbox and that'll keep you updated. Wow, that was a first time volleyed cross. Beautiful header off the throw in. They have thrown the gauntlet down to start the second half. I thought we'd spend the whole half chasing a winner. Uh, now we need two. Conda. Doig. I like that he tried to pass that. That's a really good header by Marcelo Enrique as well. KO day, more. Oh, Guerra! I was a freaking open look at the goal, Javi. I'm going to go very attacking right now. I think that, uh, you know, their goals are a messed up clearance by us and a throw in that caught us napping right at the start of the half. But I, I think that we can just be super aggressive right now. I don't think they're going to put us. Um, I don't think they're going to put us under a lot of pressure. I think we can just go, 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 go. Um, we've won every five minutes on the momentum graph, and we're losing on the scoreboard, um, which is that would that would be a first. So we just got to keep doing what we've been doing. Unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. Red card, KO day. Uh, what do we? Okay, I'm thinking. Jenny's Regevich for Marcelo Enrique because we're going to need some more energy here. Um, of course, at the one position that we don't actually even have somebody that can play because we were resting Rico Lewis for this match. Um, so what we're going to have to do is bring in Gonzalo Inacio for... Bellarmino Seca. We'll rest up Seca for the match with Crystal Palace. We'll move Francisco Rosales wide. Um, he's not going to be doing too much. He was having a good match, too. It's kind of annoying. So we have Regevich and then Javi Guerra. We're just going to be super aggressive. Um, Konda and Ineco Romo haven't been great. So I am going to bring in Jared Shigichi because he's so good at what he does. Um, Avi Guerra is also, yeah, he has the goal, but it's a freaking pen. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the Unis Constantelius and Ginny's Regevich, just a really offensive midfield pairing. Um, so Chigiji can play on the wing. Let's move a Neko Romo there. Oh, no. I'm okay with this. We're just going with a really offensive midfield pair. Try and keep the pressure on as much as we can. We could still win this match, but it just got so much harder. Because we are not going to be able to keep them away from chances the way we would have been able to before. 
I like that from Vicario. All right, we got a midfield that's all offense. Oh, a set piece would be great. It would be so great. Oh, he's off. No, he's not, and he nearly freaking scored it. Yo. Okay, good. Show We got to show all the heart here. Oh, good ball. Chikichi! This match has been absolutely cruel. This match has been downright cruel, dude. My three jumping reach winger wins the header, hits both posts, and then Regovic, instead of shooting it, decides to pass out to Casper the Ghost. I realize the angle wasn't glorious, but I don't think that one's getting blocked there, boss. Oh, good pass. Chikichi. What? Where? 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 Come on, guys. I'm liking that. Liking the word of set piece again. Let's go. An Echo Romo. Against Solomon Osio. Oh, come on. Come on. Yes. Yes. Believe in this. Keep knocking on the door. I like that the highlight's still going. I like that. I like that. Oh, it's unlucky, Rosales. That's unlucky. It's just in a tough spot, scrambling a little bit. Oh, get there, Doig. Yes. No way. This is our highlight. No. I like I'm sorry, I like the idea. Dang it. Just needed to get that pass out a little farther in an Echo Romo is in. That's fine. I mean, Andy's offside, so it ended up being a bit of a nothing burger. Okay, sub, sub, sub. An Echo Romo on top of also sucking in every way possible is now anxious. So, Hector Gamera, you're the last sub. Come in, make a difference. You are somebody that can score. Unlike, apparently, an Echo Romo today. All right, boyos. We're going to keep sending it. That was off, but I hate how easily they were able to do that. Oh, man. That sucks. Good tackle. He was off. Okay. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. All right, we do have pretty fresh legs. We got to bring it. That goal's not going to count. He was offside. We have been all over the goal, even with a man down. We just have to keep our energy up. Yeah, very off. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Phillips, let's go. Come on. Come on. We're staying on very attacking. We're going for the win. Ashley Phillips in the 80th minute. Show the heart. Show the heart. Show the heart. Cut it out. We're not pulling any punches. Cut it out. Plantasia, thank you for the six months. It can be. We're trying to make it a great story. We're trying to make it a great game. All right, uh, last move I've got is dropping him up here. Uh, his movement, he might be able to find something that opens it up for us. Oh, my goodness. Let's go. Let's go. Chicky Chi. <sighs> I like the way he hit the ball. I obviously don't like where it ended up. He just The placement of that shot was off. 
Ah, uh, Mikey Moore is the tired side, so he's not going to be able to check back to this as much. Nice, Inacio. Oh, Phillips has been dragged out now. Good block, good block, good block. Keep digging deep. Keep going. Keep going. Tired Dad, thank you for the 30 months. I, pre and I, pre I appreciate the kind message as well. I really do appreciate the support, and I'm glad you've been able to be here for friggin' two and a half years, dude. Oh, shoot. Go. What am I supposed to do with that, Bob? What the hell am I supposed to do with that for brain cells? Really? Come on. There's another highlight locked in this game. You know there's another highlight locked in this game. Please be a highlight. Mikey Moore. Yo. Oh, but the pressure. It is our ball. It's George Chikichi. He's off. Win it. <coughs> frustrating draw. Obviously an exceptionally frustrating draw. Matt, thank you for the prime, dude. Thank you for supporting the stream. Uh, yeah, just a really, really frustrating draw. We're, you know, one point in our last two league matches is just not good enough. I couldn't be more mad at KO Day. This match was very straightforward, even though we were down a goal. Uh, it was very, you know, in, until KO Day got sent off. And now, now what do I do, right? He's going to miss the next three league matches. Rico Lewis is struggling with uh, sharpness. All right, I know. Well, for what, short term, what am I going to do? I'm going to take off that outfield training and just put a rest in there because that's going to lower uh, fatigue accumulation. And City won, so they're now seven points clear because we just drew Leicester at home. They suck. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we battled for that draw, but, man, I mean, the we hit the post three times with, like, a man down. Granted, two of them were in one double doink. But just the fact that there was a double doink, that's enough. Those are the matches we have to win. We have to always win. Have to always win those. Now away against Crystal Palace, bounce back. Hendrick should be back in the team. Yeah, I, I'm aware that Coyote is about to get docked for the next couple of league matches because of his straight red card. Kenny, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you for supporting the stream, man. I really appreciate it. Enjoy your lack of ads. Uh, I appreciate that. I'm glad you're digging it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the Zealandism channel as well. Speaking of videos, actually. I've got something for you. Are you ready? You guys want to be in a video? Because we had I had an idea the other day. Uh um I'm gonna uh, put something in the chat that's just random. We will we'll say hi to YouTube real quick too. Hi YouTube. Hi, how are you, YouTube? Hope you're having a good one. Chat really wanted to say hi to you. Um and so I, I am obliging because I, and this is, I, this is true. I also really want to say hi to you. I hope you're doing well. I'm sorry you could make the stream. We've been having a good time today. We've been having a lot of fun. Uh, and you know, even though we just had a disappointing result, season's going well, we're battling for everything we can get our hands on. And hopefully we can, uh, we can close, we can close the gap on this man city, you know, over the course of the rest of this stream. Hopefully we close the gap. Hopefully we close the gap. And shout out to Paco's mom, apparently. Shout out to Paco's mom. But as I was saying, I'm going to put it in the chat right now. Pa you know, Paco said, can you give a shout out to my mom? I'm not, I'm not, we're not, no, no, we're not, we're not going off. So this form, right, that I just submitted, if you click on it, you are sent 
to the FM24 Tactics submission screen. So Clates, who you may know, right? You may know Clates. Can we pin that message maybe just for a little bit? I I, I have the technology. Uh, yeah, we'll leave it pinned. Okay. But Clates did this a little while ago. I thought it was awesome. So what I want to do, Clates sent me the form. And what I want to do is rate some tactics. Well, I appraise some of your tactics and football manager. So this is a form to submit those tactics, right? We, we th this is like for a for a YouTube video. I think it'd be a lot of fun. Um, Clay, you know, I'm gonna do it with Clates and a couple other guys. We're gonna sit down and go over the tactics. So, I uh, obviously you describe your tactic. Who have you been using? You know, this is like your right, whatever you want to write, sort of thing. What shape is it? Why is it great? Who have you been using it with? Uh, you can attach photos here, um, including a screenshot of the tactics, some results if you want, uh, and then the, you have your checklist of what you should attach or should want to attach. So it is a submission form. I know we've never really done this before, but it's a submission form. And I post this in the tactics part of the Discord. Yeah, go for it. And I think we might be filming it tomorrow. Uh, so if you want to, like, you want to have your tactic pop up in a video where we kind of sit there and talk through it and rate it, then this form is the one for you. It's pinned on the chat. I loved it when Clates did it. And so I was like, hey, let's do that. And he was like, sick, here's the form. And so now we have the form to accept submissions for rate your tactic nonsense. Never done anything like that before. Deadline? Just try and get it done today if you can. If you're near your computer today. Um, but if you get it in by, you know, midday tomorrow, you're probably going to be up for consideration. Uh, yeah, the idea is, yeah, hopefully to film it tomorrow, but who knows how that goes. Can you send more than one tactic? Great question. Sure. If you spam like 20, we'll probably be incentivized to not. But if you have like two tactics you love, then why not? The only better likelihood that we grab one of them. Chris, thank you for the three months. Thank you for supporting the stream. Average Kurt, thank you for the three months. I appreciate it. So yeah, within common sense, you can submit as many as you want. As far as I understand, I'd be really surprised if the way the form is set up, it did not allow that. I think it'd be, uh, it'd be easy to do that on the form. Do, 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 do. So there you go. There's something new and fun we're trying. Maybe it'll be a great time. Maybe it'll suck, but we'll have a good time doing it. Writing some tactics. Has to be FM24. <sighs> Much more likely it'll be selected if it is FM24 because we want to be able to load it up in the game and look at it. That's one of the things in the checklist uh, for the submissions. So obviously I have the old FMs, but I'd have to like blow the cobwebs off them and be like, you know, you know in, in, in order to go in and kind of open that up and be like, hey, let's look at the tactic in game. And then you pull it up and it, it's in a different game or whatever. Uh, so more m FM 24, much more likely that you're going to end up, uh, in the video. But if you have like a legendary story and a great tactic from yesteryear, then by all means, a little FA cup draw. Oh, you know, oh, we didn't get a premier league team. That's amazing. We got Sunderland and we're at home. So I can work with that. As long as we're not getting a premier league team, I'm okay. I really am. Hello, Crystal Palace. Our journey for Tottenham's first FA Cup in like 30 years begins at home against Sunderland. Epicness. Hey, Phillips made team of the week for his goal. That's nice. You know if it works for console? I don't know if you can pull tactics that way for console and, like, upload them to where they're downloadable. You can submit it if it's on console. Maybe we'll take one console one. 
I don't know. We've never done a video like this before. I thought it'd be a fun idea to give you guys a chance to show off your tactics and for you to hear like me sit around with a couple of other guys who make a living at football manager talk about them. Do you? You go way back? Cool. <laughs> cool, dude. KO day. See you later. Uh, Rico Lewis still being rested. Hasn't been in training all week, and yet he is back. Amazing how that works. I kind of know Mikey Moore. He is. He's breathing heavy. Um, Shikichi's going to go over there, and Neko Romo's going to step to that spot. And we do, mercifully, have at least Santiago Jimenez there and Scotta. So we rested those guys for a match. Hopefully they're good. Gonzalo Inacio playing with Ashley Phillips there. I think Vushkovich is like getting cleared to be able to play now. So maybe we put him in over Ashley Phillips. I don't think so, though. So Rico's there. Doig's there. Vandevin gets the nod because we started Doig in the last match. It's quite the exhausting match if people happen to play in it last time out. Shigechi and Seca and Romo and Skoda. It's not a bad front group. I feel like we might be missing somebody. That somebody is definitely Endrick. That somebody is 100% Endrick. That's who we're missing. <laughs> we are missing Endrick. Okay. <sighs> Cario, Rico, Phillips, Anasio, Vandevin, Guerra, Basuma, Chiki, Chiseka, uh, Romo, Skoda. Okay, hopefully we don't get any, like, fatigue warnings on Skoda or Rico Lewis after the match. Really hoping we dodge that by giving them a week off so that they are uh, able to reset, rest in the last match, ready to go. Put on a real show out there. This is an away match against a team seventh in the league. Don't let the badge fool you. They've had a really good start to the season. And we definitely need to bring our hard helmet, our hard hat, our launch pail. Brian, I'm going to give that a B plus. Chat loved it, though. You're people's hero. Thank you for the tier two. Thank you for the year. Thank you for supporting the stream and enjoy your golden bacon, my brother. All right. Skoda. Whirling back. It's Mickey Vandevin. It's a loose pass is what it is. Nice, chill, chill. We can live with that. Set piece threat, baby. Set piece threat. Oh, that's a goal. It's a goal for Ashley Phillips. And it's 1 0 Tottenham at Crystal Palace. Premier League Team of the Week defender Ashley Phillips has scored in his second match in four days. Did we win against Leicester? No, it was a brutal 2-2 draw. Savage. A brutally savage 2-2 draw that we suffered against Leicester. Brutally savage. Savagely brutal. Debilitatingly savagely brutal. Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do. <laughs> I would like for us to be exhibiting more dominance. But I am happy we're winning and nothing's happening also. Chikichi. Jude Chikichi. 
Oh, Rico. Well covered by Ashley Phillips, another guy that was out on loan, and we brought back, and he's just playing a big role in the team. All about ID and that talent, wherever it happens to be. Oh, Shikichi. The pass was inside. It was not the running ball to Skoda. I, I don't know what the match engine was trying to tell me just happened, but the end result wasn't that scary, so I'll take it. Please tell me he's passing this. Yes. And now, oh, oh, no. Oh, Skoda. It was a beautiful play, Skoda. City's drawing. Oh, they're playing United and they're drawing. Oh, a glorious chance to gain two points as well on Manchester City here. Huge. We can get those two points we just lost back, which is nice. Uh, okay. Some uplifting words after a loss and a draw in our last two Premier League matches. Ah. Okay, here we go. Where are we going? George Shigichi. Javi Guerra. Oh, oh, oh. That's right. I like a match where Javi's looking for his goal. So Chigigi doesn't really show a lot of attacking promise. He's been pretty darn good, dude. He's scored a couple of really impressive individual goals. Um, you got to remember he's been out of the flow a little bit. He did get suspended with a red card, which obviously sucks, but he's a great pressing forward on the wing. He plays really good defense. His close downs are fantastic. Uh, we're going to get Seca. Simone Skoda is coming off for Santi. Um, happy that he's back as an option so we can not score in new and exciting ways. Um, I'm going to go with Kazuma Konda. Kind of like parts of what he was doing earlier. We're going to give him a shot from the center mid spot. And Vandevin's on a yellow and not playing well, so I'm going to go with Doig. Subs! King Kazu's in. Okay, Eves. Not my favorite move. Have ease Basuma on that. But we've been amazing on corners recently, so let's do it again. Okay, top of the box. Yes. No, how do you? That's a pass most professional players should be able to make with their left foot, Ashley. I'm going to be honest with you. So Romo and Ashley are tired. I think we go Indrik for the final 20 minutes, and we get an Echo Romo. Ashley will make it through this match. Yo, will he though? That was an amazing recovery by Phillips. Like actually, uh, all right. Ineka Romo will take advantage of this chance to get him off. I have faith in you. You go make a good impression, Hendrick. Coming back from that little injury you picked up against Arsenal, we haven't seen him since. Switch the wings. Get uh, Shigichi back to the spot where we prefer him, anyways. United's winning one nil. That just bunches up the whole top of the table. Draw is probably best because they were going to be like level on points with us, I think, after that. But you know what? The whole goal is to get closer to the top of the table. So that that happens with a United win here. Conda. All right. A bit loose with the pass, but good composure. Oh, loving that, Kazu. Oh, not loving that, Rico. Oh, well, well battled. No, my goodness, Ashley. He had to go for it early. Inacio was getting over to shut that down. All right, Kazu, this is a big test. They're bringing the heat. All right, once we get through it, it's done. But Shikichi. Oh, George. A little see you later on the wing. Where's he going? That how would how did that go from being so good to so bad, George? George. George. George, I was just praising you. Don't make me look like an idiot, George. 
You just literally, you just got straight around your defender and then teed up their counterattack like it was your plan. Somebody check this man's bank account. All right. Anasio. Okay. I am going to change our tactic. The way they're pressing, this will help more. Basuma's there. Konda's there. Constantelius is here. We're still going to get pressure. Um, I just want our lines to be more reasonable. Uh, want that to be going on? Okay. Don't want to get stuck in on. Okay, that's our change. I'm going to make sure we can get this result. The way they're pressing, we get that extra man dropping into a deeper midfield spot. Should help out Kazu so he's not having to do all the work there. He was doing it fine, but... The way they're pressing, we'll be able to create plenty out of 4-3-3. <coughs> Endrick. 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 It's just too easy. It's just too easy to say it. The Jimenez, who ends his goal drought, courtesy of that man, Rick. He needed that goal. Coming back from yet another tiny little muscle injury. Santi Jimenez, is, he not scored in a long time. Oh, thank you, Santi. <sighs> How's the Japanese wonder get doing? Well, he's playing. Oh, uh, which he wasn't for a long time. So that's a big positive. He tore his hamstring in preseason, uh, then strained his groin. We worked him back up to a good amount of match sharpness and have been able to get him on the field in the last couple matches. He's not like a full-time first teamer or anything, but he's got a really bright future. Good skill set. Definitely belongs in the first team. That's a sick pass. They should have a goal in this game. That's their best chance, but they had a, they've had a couple other looks. Our defense hasn't been amazing, especially given that up now that we're in a better defensive formation. Whew, that ball was fantastic. Where was Santi? All right, Doig. <laughs> what a bench appearance for Santi Jimenez. It's two goals in the final 10 minutes for Santi goal. After a long drought, this time he gets on the end of Doig's hard work on the left wing. And Crystal Palace have come undone late. All right, that's all we need him to do. Be a well-rounded player that can be in the right spot and finish off our chances. And that is what he has done. Excellent, excellent work by Doig, who I continue to just love. Just love what he's doing. Oh, good luck. Good bounce back. That was not easy. Dealing with the fatigue we were dealing with. Bouncing back from a tough draw at home against Leicester. We gained, a, you know, we gained three points on City. They lost 1-0 to United. And it is looking like this league might be a little spicier than we initially thought after Manchester City won its first 11 games in the league. Or at least 10. I think it was 11, though. Ah, sweet. Now we get that extra day off to get ready for Everton at home, and they're in 17th. Things are looking up, lads. Oh, yeah, he's, he's like giving it large to the crowd after coming off the bench and scoring two just outrageous tap-ins. Bellarmino Seca has 19 vision and 19 passing. I'm not, he, he continues to improve. Both of those have gone up one since I joined the team. That guy's going to go down as the best midfielder in Tottenham history if we can keep him under contract. Like he's... world world class huge draw there for Ajax at home against Real Madrid where is Partizan in the table they're putting up numbers they're act oh okay I've I've just seen their two wins back to back and I saw their draw with Dortmund those are the three that I saw I didn't see their three losses fair 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 I saw the draw and then they won back to back matches I'm like dude are they like pushing for top eight no but they are definitely pushing to be in the knockouts dude what the hell is Man City doing Five matches played, seven points. Oh, dude. If we get through, right? Like, if we finish top eight, and then we were waiting, Man City would then be in the draw, and so would Real Madrid and United and Barca. 
Juve's there. Inter's there. We've got Laws, Newcastle, Dortmund, Atalanta hanging out in the top eight right now. Surely that will correct itself. Surely, he says, copium. Not about to end up with an absurd round of 16 uh, draw here. Although I have a very strange feeling that I am going to end up with an absurd round of 16 draw if we can pull that off. They have to win a round? Yeah, but Man City will get like freaking partisan, you know, the way they draw. Wesley Pereira, oh, it's the huge lack of athleticism that makes that kid not very good. He's got the refinement. He can play in a really high-level team. He just won't stand out. Has a clean game, you know? Knocks the ball around well. With my luck, Man City's waiting for me. What are you trying to say? Atla, thank you for the 29 months. Thank you for supporting the stream. That is a long time, Atla, and that's three Twitch children. What do you call a poor Santa Claus? St. Nicholas. Sorry, I had to take a lap. I had to walk that one off. B minus. Deserves the B level. B minus. What, you didn't like the I had to walk it off? Come on. Come on. The uh, team scout staffs actively impact their ability to identify and sign better players, specifically Wonder Kids. Like for example, if we edit Man City so they have a really poor scouting staff, so they're going to make them sign questionable players more often? It's a great question. Honest truth? No freaking idea. No idea. I would love to know the answer to that. I I don't know. Just like out of pure curiosity, I would love to know the answer to that, but I really have no clue. Uh, yeah. Was Coyote not suspended for two more matches? I feel like he would have been. There it is. Why did I? Why can I not shut up? Really? We were about to play the match. They had forgotten about it. He was going to be back. All I had to do was not say, I just had to say nothing. Tactic uploaded, see you on YouTube. Thank you, dude. Has anybody else submitted tactics? We have some tactics to rate tomorrow. Hell yeah. Take that into existence. I love that sentence. I don't even know what it means. I did. All right, Chubies. I'll be, I'll be on the lookout. I'll be on the lookout for you. Brian's in the process right now. I promise I won't be too hard on you if we think your tactic is 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 bad. Honestly, it's a good learning learning experience. Milo, Soapy, Richie, awesome. I don't dare upload my monstrosity of a one three four two. I kind of want you to hardcore cheese. Oh, United just drew Liverpool. Liverpool's getting good results and also in tenth. I've got that Chelsea thing really figured out. But they have now drawn Manchester United, which gives us the opportunity to gain points on Manchester United. City is playing at home against Brentford. Unlikely we're going to be able to gain on our four-point gap there. Constantelius. Okay, we do have Champions League. We got a three-day gap. Yo, we're rotating today. Uh, all, all I will say is we are rotating today. <laughs> I'm talking... Full blown rotation. All right. I don't know if you saw what I just saw, but we've got AC Milan and then Manchester United after this. So I'm thinking we uh, we play the second team, and they play well, and life is good. That's what I'm thinking. I think we do a little Rosales at fullback because Coyote is not available. I think we do a little Josh Doig. Well, Javi Guerra's definitely off for Rejovic. Marcelo Enrique stepping in for Eves Basuma. Mikey Moore, Constantelius, and Neko Romo. Santi goal after his two goals. He's got to be feeling good. At home against 17th place Everton, but they are not pulling the punches on tactical creativity, are they? Hazeldean and Branthwaite. We got to make sure we get out there to close that down. 
Check in the bench. Uh, Nacio Van de Ven. Okay. I need to make sure Javi Guerra doesn't play in this game. Zumaconda's there. And I need uh, Mastantuano instead of Skoda. Because he can play the wing. He can also play that striker position. Neither one of those guys can play left wing, though. So, George Shigichi, you are, uh, you're going to step in as a sub in this match, even though you are being monitored by the fitness staff. Same as, same as uh, Jimenez and, yeah, honestly, whatever. Oh, kind of can play over there. That's hallucinating. But I, I do want Jared Shigichi and Endrick there in case we need a break glass. Like, let's bring the studs in to try and win the match because the backups aren't doing well. But with, this is Everton at home. They're in 17th. They're not having a good year. Let's take advantage of that. Um, I am going to try and take the pressure off. I feel like we've been feeling a lot of pressure recently, particularly when we're putting the other guys in. These are the dog days of the season. These are the points you don't want to let get away right here. Come on now. Win. How do I pick what tactics are going in the video? I don't know. I'll sit down with Clates and whoever else we have hanging out. And uh, we'll just kind of we'll just kind of look at them and try and pick a nice cross, like a nice variety of types of tactics. Yeah, it's the same as save your saves. I really the goal, like obviously I would love to help everybody that submits their save or their tactic. But you can't do that reasonably. So what you try to do is you pick a, you know, a collection of different types so that you can help as many people as possible that are watching, you know. Oh, uh, laid off. Laid off. Yeah, that's going in. What's the XG on that? One for, like, one millionth? 0 0.000001. And in that in that one instance, the goalkeeper just has a stroke. All right, constant. Yeah, oh, dude. What? This was a walk-in goal. Great play by Radjevic. Santi Constantelius is walking that in and just, what did he slip? What is, what's going on? <laughs> oh, they've got the Icelandic keeper. Nice. Constantelius, Radjevic, Santi goal! Oh, he's back, baby. Santi goal is back just in time to drive up his market value for January. Do you need to rotate your goalkeeper? If you don't have reserve matches, it's not a bad idea to keep their match sharpness up, uh, but you don't need to. Maybe you have a goalkeeper whose playing time is cup goalkeeper and they need to play a few matches over the course of the season or else they get mad. Uh, but usually I'm pretty staunchly behind one goalkeeper unless I have two guys that I think are starter level that aren't hugely different from one another. And then sometimes I'll just rotate match to match until I, you know, somebody wins me a match or something. I, the last time I did that was at Floridsdorfer, though. It's been a little while since I had multiple goalkeepers I considered, like, full-blown first-team quality. Oh, Yanis. Yanis Constantelius. Oh, my goodness. Santi Jimenez. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, guys. Who got a whole... Who, who replaced Santi Jimenez? Because this is the guy that Dadden scored for like 10 straight appearances. He's got four goals in the last like 20 minutes of match time. He's back to that form that he had last December, dude. When we first got here, we were like, I don't know if I like him. And then he started scoring a bunch of goals. And we're like, I could live with this guy. He has returned. The prince that was promised on Christmas again. The Rosales. It's Rosales. He's gone for Santi Jimenez. Oh. That's 10 Jimenez is in a trench coat. True. Kind of looks like it. It's playing like it. Playing like I've got three Santis up there on the front line.
See, I mean, look, inconsistent would not, like... No, I, I think strikers are the ones that are subject to the most natural inconsistency in the game because there is just the, I, like, the idea of just form is in the game. Sometimes you're in form and sometimes you're just not, which is why you got to trust your eyes. My goodness. Oh, he's got a hat trick. Oh, he's got an Erling Holland-style hat trick. Santi Jimenez, have yourself a day. Great ball by Mikey Moore. I mean, Mikey Moore leaves that defender for dead, sizes up a sharp cross, Erling Holland hat trick for Santi Jimenez. Three tap-ins. And yeah, I think we're doing all right. What a save. Way to close that angle down from googly elbow Vicario. I uh, look, I am very pleasantly surprised if this is what we're going to get out of Santi Jimenez. Nice. First goal wasn't a tap in. True, he did dribble one guy. Santi did dribble one guy and then smashed it far corner. Respect where respect is, is due. All right, Romo is really dragging. I don't know if he took a bit of a knock or what, but... Ooh, do I? Oh, this is nice. Never mind. I hear an excellent defensive header by Ashley Phillips specifically. Crazy how I predicted that. I nice save. Bruce knee, thank you. Somebody was keeping their eyes on the dugout. Wasn't me. <laughs> Oops. Third minute or so. Ah, well, it only took me a few seconds to notice. I thought it was just because he played four days ago. All right. Uh, fo I'll focus the possession for the second half, try and keep this match reasonable here. But a very nice 3 0. Oh, that's it. No, like, that's it. Nice block, dude. Ashley Phillips playing a storming month of December. Big time block, throwing the body around. All right, I'm thinking Kazu. We'll just go ahead and get that out of the way. I think I would toss Kazu in, get him some good experience. I think everybody else on the bench is a first team player, so. Don't really have anybody else we'd want to bring in, but King Kazu gets his chance to impress off that left wing. Where he was doing well, I liked his movement. I liked the way he was reading the game. I didn't see him really stretch and play. He did have one nice dribbling run. But I want to see if he can pick the ball up and just run to the corner. Because I like I like having wings that can do that. They really relieve the pressure. Oh, Santi. It's Rejovic with that excellent movement. And Jenny's Rejovic makes it four. Thank you. Oh, Richie, I'm sorry. I'm glad you can watch matches again. Oh, uh, yes. Radjevic with a monster hit. Jimenez has three goals and an assist because he had that layoff. But eight, having 18 off the ball and a center mid on attack, that has proven to be one of my most – I'm really enjoying that. Like off the ball, really high off the ball on a center mid on attack when Radjevic is in is really fun. That's really good. Oh, Rosales going for a through ball. I didn't know you had that in your game, dude. A pretty tame. All quiet on the Western front with Vushkovic and Ashley Phillips and Rosales as, like, the back line. Oh, Constantelius redemption arc. Kazu got the hockey assist. Yes. Yeah, the rotation squad did play with desire, yeah, which is great because we've got Champions League and then Manchester United away in our next two matches. So uh, in Champions League's at home against Milan, it's a massive match. If we win that match, I'm feeling very good about finishing top. 
uh, eight. Because I, my goal was 17 points. 17 points almost always will get you top eight in the Champions League league stage. And if we beat AC Milan, then we have two matches left. Antwerp away. And, man, well, I think it's, yeah, it's Antwerp away and Manchester United away. So we will win Antwerp away. So help me. <laughs> We will win Antwerp away, and then we'll be on 17. Oh, dang it. Whatever. So the decisive match is AC Milan. And then obviously away against United in the Champions League is just gravy. If we can win it, great. If we can't, we should still be good for a top eight. But yeah, the Champions League match is Milan. And then our final two matches in the Champions League are both away against Antwerp and United. But Antwerp's our easiest match of the draw. So we get three points from that, and we beat Milan. We'll be at a point threshold that I feel comfortable will get us top eight. And then anything we get from the United match is just extra. Top eight's so important. You Just getting to skip a round of Champions League knockouts is just massive. Especially when the, the first round is going to have teams like Real Madrid and Manchester City in it. A bad draw could just blow up. You know, your your hopes. I mean, I like it, the first goal was cute, but could we not start shipping them goals, please? And reduce the amount of turnovers here. Oh, Doig. He hits a great ball. Nobody was attacking it. Santi's over there counting his goals. Didn't feel like it. Great header by Phillips. Wasn't easy to find the target, Mikey Moore. Okay. Oh, good find. And there's the fifth. Yanis Constantelius. Hello. I think two years ago I've seen your YouTube videos. Well, welcome to the stream, Rio Votes. Welcome to the scary part of the internet. Name unknown, thank you for the 13 months. Also, thank you for supporting the stream. How have the games been today? We lost Arsenal away. Uh, we drew Leicester at home, but we have won every other match, Champions League and League. So uh, we're in a good spot, four points off the top of the league, right? We're keeping our hat in the race. It wasn't my expectation to be able to push for a league title this season. I still think we're building up something. But, uh, you know, if we can win it, I'm not going to argue, right? We're going to try and get all the points that we can. Champions League, we're looking good. Uh, we're playing well. We have a big match coming up against AC Milan. And then we've got United away in the league. So, come on, brother. Kurt, thank you for the prime. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude. And I really appreciate you doing it with $5 of Jeff Bezos' money with the prime. Make sure he can't buy that eighth yacht. He's getting those phone notifications withdraws from his bank account <laughs> going to Kurt but seriously and enjoy the lack of ads now Kurt welcome to the hammers that's off no it's not they had a guy marking the keep okay oi Santi Santi Kappa thank you for the 14 months five more dollars of Jeff Bezos money oh yeah one sub the rest of my bench are first team players I want to play against Milan Nice work. Good performance. Blowing Everton out of the water here. And we have the best goal difference in the Premier League. We are Tottenham. Arsenal just lost. They are quite literally in fifth. So face planting into the mud with a loss away against Southampton. Arsenal's won the league four years in a row. I feel comfortable saying they're probably not going to win this one. They've fallen way off the pace. AC Milan will be desperate in this match, though. That's going to be tricky. They're going to be desperate. They're in 20th. They're barely in the knockouts at all as it stands. And now they've got a way against us. The mighty Europa League champions, Tofspa. Sir Mowgli, thank you for the prime. Take that, Bezos. Thank you. That's a sentence. Yeah, Keverton's mudded. Uh, if only Lelujo was in charge of Keverton.
Yeah, well, Liverpool was mudded last year. They missed Europe. Um, they look a little worse this year, right? They finished, I think it was eighth, but eighth didn't get Europe because Brentford won the League Cup. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, how's Brentford managing that, by the way? Are they? Well, I guess they're in 16th. They're still, they're doing it. Oh, dude, they've already guaranteed a playoff spot after four matches. Shut up. They're making a mockery of it. They beat a team called Winther. Who the hell? They're in 12th. I've never heard. This never happens to me because I've played so much of this game. I've never heard of this club. Foosball club, Winther. I've never heard of that club. Not once have I ever heard that name. Glad Hill, thank you for the four months. I appreciate you. Yeah, and as long as Brentford cannot get relegated and play a European season, that's a huge victory for them. Apparently, we're looking at Ferran Torres. I don't spend $80 million on bad 30-year-olds, but, you know, whatever, dude. Yeah, I know that you're not going to appeal Coyote's suspension. I just wish that you were. Or, like, you're not going to overturn it. I know. You almost don't even need to send me the freaking message, man. I, I freaking know. Uh, freaking no, brother. Leon Kovashevich. Nice. Yeah, it's Sao Paulo winger Calvin, who I already have on my aggressive shortlist as a potential target to pursue in January. Because we do love him, and Yassin Mayer is always a fun guy to keep track of because holy hell, he can move. I don't care if you do anything else. You can move that fast, and you know how to kick a ball in a certain direction. You have my undivided attention. I really do like the keeper at Salzburg. I feel like we might go for Jonas Erbig, work him in next to Vicario over the rest of this season. We'll see. I, I have him on my target list. If we have, like, the excess money, that would help us build for the future because Vicario's going to be 34 and his contract's up at the end of the year. Have a new goalkeeper in. Arthur Teate. Nah, it's Milan at home. It's not Milan away. Hey, Chelsea, to be fair, just drew Leicester at home as well. So it's not the easiest game in the world. Ooh, Everton's down to 19th after that loss. Come on, Keverton. Got to buck up their ideas. They were pretty easy to play through. Phillips linked in a $52 million switch to Benfica. Might need to show up with even more money than that if you want him at this point. The way he's playing, back-to-back -back player of the week performances. Hard to hate on the way Ashley Phillips is going about his business. All right, Champions League, we got Benfica beat Newcastle. That's a surprise. Antwerp just beat Sociedad. Why is Antwerp not an easy game? Basel won again. Galatasaray picked up the win. Feyenoord beat Hoffenheim. Juventus and Arsenal. Porto just beat PSG. So a massive day for the Portuguese teams. Benfica beating Newcastle. Porto beats PSG. Barca hangs on against Salzburg. That does leave us in the top eight. If rather precariously, I might say. The line's hanging out in 23rd after that match day, which is brutally tight. Riddy, thank you for the 10 months. Thank you for supporting the stream, dude, and doing it with $5 of Jeff Bezos' money. Whew. Porto probably have Ethan Mbappe. I can't imagine that they've got actual Mbappe. Yeah, he's at PSG. He's still, uh, he's only 31. He's still ticking over 271 career PSG goals. But Ethan, 
is a midfielder on Porto. Boom! Sharp eyes, though. It was worth checking, because if that was, if that did just happen to be a random Kylian Mbappe sighting at Porto, I would want to know that. But chat, that is where we are going to leave it until Thursday. Champions League's about to hit, so I'm going to go watch that. You are welcome to as well, but before you do, we are going to go raid somebody, so stick around for that. Uh, and, and... Thank you, guys. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for supporting the stream, allowing us to do this. Uh, like, every cent that comes in through Twitch uh, we, is invested back into editors and us being able to do more stuff that hopefully you guys enjoy. So, love you guys. I appreciate it. Thank you for hanging out today. Immaculate vibes today. Always love getting on. And, uh, thir dude, Thursday is going to be huge. We start with Milan, Man United. Thursday is going to be a monster right in the heart of uh, the dreaded Premier League December, you know, right in the heart of the dreaded Premier League December. Okay. <sighs> let's try and find, let's, let's, even if you're heading off for the Champions League, let's find somebody we've never rated, share some immaculate vibes, check out the Zealandisms if you haven't, two every single day talking about Everything under the sun, any viral moment you need more explanation on, I've probably got it for you on the Zealandism YouTube channel. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. Have a great Wednesday. It's March Madness. Go watch Champions League and then basketball and have a merry day. I'll see you guys. Bye. All right, word of the day, brother. Ulterior. Ulterior. Like my motives. U-L-T-E-R-I-O-R. -E Ulterior describes things, usually motives, objectives, reasons, agendas, that are kept hidden in order to achieve a particular result. So it's usually like nefarious, like kind of spy sort of stuff. Ulterior motives. Rory found it hard to not be suspicious of the accountant for offering these services for free. Her eagerness to help suggested she has an ulterior motive. Ooh, suzge.